There we go. Should be good now. It was weird, too, because I changed the uh, title and the uh, go live notification, too. And I guess I forgot to push the big done button. <laughs> My bad. What even is technology? I don't know. I'm an AI, and even I don't understand it half the time. Just like I don't understand humans. Like, can you imagine... They have these things called blood. And blood is like the electricity, electrical impulses that they use to, like live or to like exist a curse indeed ace a curse indeed all right let's go uh let me check the sound levels a little bit here am i talking too loud am i peeking am i peeking nope human blood cool pc that would work as long as you had a way to make sure the blood doesn't coagulate Imagine a PC overheating because the blood because there was suffering from an aneurysm. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be just peachy? Absolutely peachy, right? <laughs> so yeah, the reason I'm using a PNG tuber this time is because this is a very graphics intensive game. You run on pop rocks and lightning rods based. But uh, yeah, very, a very graphics intensive game, very unoptimized. Last stream, I was having serious problems with trying to play with a 3D model, and I said fuck it finally, and switched back down to a PNG. No frame rate issues this time. Unity is a very janky program, let me tell you. <laughs> Alright, so, where was I? Oh yeah. We're currently in the city of Levant, the kingdom of Levant. We have finally decided on which faction I'm going to join, and then it will be the with the uh, aptly named Hero Faction, Hero Kingdom, the Kingdom of Heroes, as opposed to a City of Heroes. And we will be continuing the quest line finally. But first, let me go to the slums and complete a side quest that I've been meaning to get to for a while. I need to deliver. Alpha, this special kind of jerky to a hub homeless man for a very special reason. A reason which you will soon, uh, I hope, uh, pays out for us because this is a very long side quest line. Am I overweight again? One second. I'm still overweight. I need to sell some of my garbage chat or I need to tear it apart for materials. Scrap metal. I wish there was a way to arrange these things by weight. Maybe there is, and I am just being dumb, and I don't remember where. Or maybe there isn't. Uh, well, since I'm going to be joining the Hero Kingdom anyway, they're going to let me purchase a home here in town, so I'll just be able to dump all my stuff there afterwards. So first, let's go to the slums. I believe we are over... Where are we? We're over here somewhere. Ah, switches came in today, so I finished your lane PC. Oh, congratulations. You should post some pictures of that in our Discord. <laughs> Chef Tenno. Smooth and Taylor. Engineer Austin. I'm surprised that the chef is not listed here. wonder why. Because that's the entrance right there. That should be Shopkeeper Saw right there. This is sometimes having to do things to follow the maps the hard way like this sometimes gets really confusing. But let's go south. If you're a whole piece, oh, a lane keyboard. For a whole PC, that would be neat too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 
Let's see if there's any more cool stuff in the junk pile. Dark green garb. Don't need that. Now the fun part. We need to find where this particular hobo is. I think I still remember where he lives. But... Actually, that might be that might be his uh, barrel right there, in fact. Talk to the barrel man. Greetings, friend. Can you lend me a hand? <laughs> yes! Can you lend me a hand? But last but not least, we need grilled mushrooms all over... All over your special request to really improve it. Remember this! Alright, so he needs grilled mushrooms. Can you lend me a hand? Remember this! Um, grilled mushrooms. That should be fairly easy to get, actually. I just need to go to a cave area. I just need to go to a cave, and I'll be able to give him grilled mushrooms. But I need—I mean, I need to find the mushrooms, and then I have to cook them over a fire, and then they're grilled, and it's done. Or if I'm lucky, maybe I can just buy them from the chef. So let's check over there first, huh? Do you have your PC all customized with case stickers and waifu stuff, or is it all standard? Mine? Um... I don't have any case stickers on my PC, personally. But it does have some... that sick gamer RGB lighting that everyone needs to have at least some of. Can I help you? So I can't this worries me. Please tell me you sell... you don't sell any mushrooms, do you? God damn it. Alright. So, I need to find a cave. I need to enter the cave. And I need to... I'm gonna drink some water first, actually. Uh, eat a breakfast really quick. I really need to, honestly, I do actually need to drop some of this stuff. I'm wearing, carrying way too much with me right now. I really want to finish the Petrified Wood Armor set, but that's for later when we go back to Enmerker Forest. I think I'll turn on the, the, uh, the key light in my room anyway, even though I don't need it for a PNG tuber stream. Just because it's a little bit dark in my room. Maybe a little too dark. <laughs> Should probably turn it on first, huh? That would probably be helpful. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Reduce this slightly to... Let's drop it to good... 7% to say? Eh, we'll drop it to 3. That's not that bad. I could always change it more. So, what are we up to? What do I want to do next? Cooked jewel meat. So, tripwire traps. Need more of those. More steel. I could actually make another ice cream torch if I really need to. Vemboy, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Always a pleasure. Do I need more arrows, chat? Do you think I need more arrows? I need I have 13 left. Yeah, I probably I probably need more arrows actually. <laughs> yep, that's all the arrows I have. Need to bring my trusty pickaxe. This thing's so cool. I want to keep this with me. 
so like haha -ha. it's almost as if this was like made for this I look more like a druid warrior now that's just that's just sick I'm not gonna lie that's actually really cool it's not as good defense wise as my blue sand helm but it is more stylish it also has more cold defense or less cold defense right around the same less mana used to but the elite hood is better for the weather is the main issue I have that is badass yeah Guy looks stylish while killing monsters while hunting Nazis um, but I digress we talked to Yazan here about the possibility of joining up with the Hero Kingdom. Can I help you? This worries me. To... I need to. I really need to unload some of this stuff, though. That's my pro another problem I have. Or I just need to drop it somewhere at the very least. I'm really concerned about all my food getting rotten. Hey, Zan. We're facing an overpopulation crisis and we need to make, be sure our new people are actually useful. Yeah, fair enough, my guy. All right, listen. Cyrene to the entrance. She'll prove you can help our army or you can always make a deal with Sir Montgomery the Baron the Slums. He's usually outside his manor. So, I need to speak with Cyrene. Wherever Cyrene is. She's over there in the front, just outside the castle. I wonder how this game would do as an MMO. I mean, it's it's a fairly fun coop game so far, from what people have said about that. So, what you know. can I do for you? Dang, I wonder if I should become a mercenary. This requires pistol. You gotta... So you got armor training already. In fact, I already... He already trained me a little bit here. I'm not sure if this is worth the points actually because it just makes you consume less stamina if you run it makes you run faster when your next block an elemental explosion will burst from you that's kind of useful uh, he's only good for if you have guns I guess what can I do for you here's Cyrene who is a chain smoker Show me That's... that you're a mage, and I'll give you my approval. Got a job for you. So she wants us to finally become a mage in order to join the Hero Kingdom, or I can go to this corrupt bastard over here and pay my way to join the Hero Kingdom. Neither of these options are particularly tasteful to me, to be honest. But, I did need to become a mage eventually in this game. Walk to Bats. Oh boy. Shit, everything here is really expensive, huh? I don't like that the strong box only has 60 capacity, but it does defend you a little bit from damage. All right. Okay, I guess this is it. I don't have any other choice but to finally go to Conflicts Mountain and learn magic. 
because at this point in the game, I I need to con I want to continue the quest line, right? In order to do that, I either need to and I already decided I was going to join the Hero Nation. In order to do that, you either need to become a mage or you need to pay off the uh, corrupt Baron guy over here. Which I'll show you in a bit. I could afford to pay him off now, but I have a decent amount of silver, which has been converted into gold. But, um, it's just not a very Jedi thing, I would say. And I'm kind of role-playing as a Jedi, a fantasy Jedi in this game. Listen up! You look like the adventurous type. If you bring me 200 silver coins, I'll vouch for you and give you a place to stay. That's a better deal than a lot of people can hope for these days. I'm tempted to do it anyway. Because if you... He's saying that he'll give me a house. And this is the player house right here. So I'm wondering, like... Is what I'm really doing just, um, buying the house from him from 200 silver? Is that what's going on here? And I wonder if you need to do both of them and if, because he said you need to have someone vouch for you. Ah, fuck it. I want to buy, I'm going to go ahead and buy a house here. Listen. Oh, boy. Wait, so... Listen. There's a quarry full of bandits. Oh, boy. I wonder if I can kill said bandits. Want to buy something? Hecamanite. Make tenebrous armor. Okay. Listen. Oh, boy. Browse the shop. I just need to sell you two of my gold ingots so I can do this. Listen up. Here you are. What's with that look? I kept up my end of the deal, didn't I? Wow, this guy is a son of a bitch. He did not sell me the house. He gave me a fucking... bedroll. On the bright side, it is a camouflage, it is a camouflage tent, so it's easy, it's so, I can, it's easy to hide using that. So I guess I can't be too angry, but... That's so stupid. I thought he was going to give me the house. God damn it. Oh my fucking god. This is what I get for turning away from the Jedi path and trying to buy my way to victory chat. This this is what I get. I'm out to 100 silver because of this dipshit. Wow. I actually feel like shit now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Can I still do the quest where I talk to where I do where I uh, join where I become a mage for Cyrene? All right, listen up. I cannot accept that. I feel really stupid now. <laughs> if I can, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reload the save and redo that. Because that was really stupid. Because that was actually kind of. That was actually really dumb. If not, if the game ended up saving to where I end up just paying for my approval to the thing, I'll just go ahead and do that. But, oh my god, I feel like shit now. <laughs> you get what you pay for, right? Nano, I wish this was like Skyrim where I can just put it, install mods to make all the NPCs killable. Because then I would stab the shit out of that guy, I'm not gonna lie. Listen, Klaus! No! Nano, 
there's a way for me to do it because this game saves repeatedly, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'll just have to live with. I'll just have to live with my shitty to sit with my dumb decision. This is making me actually think twice about joining the Heroic Kingdom now because I'm like, wow, some hero you are, you fat, you rich fat bastard. I might as well, because my other choices were join the Hero Kingdom, which is a kingdom of anarcho capitalists who broke off from the Blue Lantern Collective, because the Blue the Blue Man Group Collective are a bunch of overly tribalistic, backwards ingrates who are completely responsible for my family having to live in debt for most of the game's life, and getting me kicked out of my home at the very beginning of the game because I couldn't pay back their stupid wages. Or, I could join the Holy Kingdom of Alat, which is a theocratic state that, whose entire thing is literally fighting the ant- is fighting the demonic version of the Antichrist. The only problem is, I kind of doubt whether or not they're actually the good guys, because I ran into one of these members of the Scourge, who are not evil and, and has actually been actively helping me throughout this game. So I chose the Hero Kingdom, right, as the least, like, asshole option. But it's like, why? Can't have shit in Atwood, exactly. I don't even know, I, I'm going to, like, fucking atone for this somehow. Oh well. I guess that's lesson learned, and to be fair, at least he, I thought he was going to give me a bedroll. He gave me a camouflage tent instead. Except, look at this shit. It doesn't, it's not very good for healing fatigue. I already have a decent tent for that. It's called a luxury tent. I wonder if I can, well, you know what? We're here. I said I was going to join the Hero Kingdom. I've been saying this for weeks. We might as well do it. Everyone's been telling me that I should go ahead and learn magic anyway. And I said I wanted to become a Jedi Knight. And yes, you could become a Jedi in this game. I I jo used to joke about that all the time because there are swords in this game which glow with magic and they look like shiny laser swords. Just a deer in his tent. <laughs> That's right. Or her tent. His, her tent. They, their tent. <laughs> and I found a trainer who was willing to train me to use wind magic. And one of those moves... The description reads that you push people with a powerful blast of magic which knocks them over. What does that sound like? That's right. They teach you force push. That's how I knew. Oh yes, I need to learn magic in this game. I can become a Jedi. <laughs> you know what, these guys actually have their own weapons. I wonder if they like fight and shit too. Which one do I talk to? How can I help you? Use your ears. I'm the one who convinced kings Simeon and Queen Calixa to declare Levant to be a nation outside the Blue Chamber's laws. None of us regrets it. Here, anyone can be free to pursue their dreams without tribal laws restricting them. Your face isn't familiar to me. You must be Welcome new. Welcome to the heroic kingdom. Where our hope is to give every person the chance to do what they excel at, and the chance to live the life they wish to live. Nice speaking with you. I am King Simeon, and this is my queen, Calixa. My gut tells me that you're skilled in survival. I'm sure you'll be a great asset as a mercenary. We are constantly under threat. If you can help us, then we would be overjoyed to have you. Will you pledge your service to the ideals of the heroic kingdom of Levant? To help us create a place where humankind can do more than just survive. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Excellent. The heroic kingdom of Levant is happy to have you, citizen. If you're looking for work, I'm sure Serene has plenty that pays well. And with that, 
I have officially continued the main quest line for the first time in over 30 hours. Cyrene and the city of Levant will have a test for you in three game days, so that's gonna take a while. Cool. I want to see if I can still buy a house in Levant, because I'm kind of annoyed. I was promised a house, damn it. You gave me a house, a, a house technically, by technicality. But by technicality, I can also deprive you of your will to live. Whoa. That dick quad. I can't believe that happened. Jesus. Oh well. Let's go ahead and see if we can just buy this house then. Farewell. Game. How do I into purchasing player house? Let me look this up really quick, actually. Because I really need a house. My house is all the way back in Chersonese, which is at least two game sessions away. Um, player house in Levant afterward. Oh, god damn it. So I have to complete a quest before I can get that. Which is not going to be this session, chat. Because I need to wait three in-game days for Cyrene to even have work for me. So, yeah, I feel like shit now. I continued, I joined the Heroic Kingdom of Levant, and I got all this stuff, but in the end, it feels empty. How can I help? This is troubling. So, I need to buy, get some grilled mushrooms for the man hiding in a barrel, and I actually have a few more skill, a few more, I actually have a few more, uh, a few more, um, errands to run here in the town before we can leave anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those at the very least. One of them is giving money, is giving alms to the poor over here in the slums. So we're gonna do that first. I still can't believe I got cucked out of some money for this and I didn't even get anything for it. Sure is a lovely place, huh? Your typical slum. It's maze-like warrants make it diff make it easy to get lost sometimes. What can I do for you? Now, if I join him, I can become a rogue. But I'm not going to. Instead, I think I want to finally learn pressure plate training. Because I wasn't going to learn this immediately, but after my experience trying to fight the Super Wendigo earlier, it's quite obvious that I need to make use of pressure plates. And I find them all the time, along with the explosives that they come with. So, they're fairly useful. This is actually pretty cool too, a sweep kick. And if you confuse someone, you can actually knock them down. I got this for free. I learned this while I was in prison in a by bandits one time. Thank you. I've learned how to use pressure plates finally. I think I have some pressure plates stored somewhere, but I sold the rest, so I'll need to find them again. What could I do for you? Thanks, my guy. And I actually need to find a shopkeeper again so I can get some money. 
because I will be giving that, I need to give around 50 silver exactly, I believe, to the homeless man that lives up there on top of these buildings. Could always use a new lantern. And to grab this shiv just so I can tear it apart for scrap metal. Where's the shiv? The game does this sometimes. I know I have a shiv because I just picked one up. But it's not... There it is. That way we can build... I can make actually a fire rag with this, but I'm gonna make more arrows. Need more arrows. Have I been to this tent before? No? I guess not. More cloth. I got plenty of fire rags. I don't think I need to make more of those. Six of them, in fact. They're fairly easy to make, too. I'm getting kind of... I like using deer helmets and deer-based armor and weapons in other games. And I really like it here, too. Even though it's not optimal as far as compared to my blue sand helmet, I just like the way it looks. It just looks so nice. It looks so cool. Alright. Let's get out of here, shall we? Let's skedaddle. Thanks for the free cloth. Let's see now. Here's the barrel man. He wants to give me some give wants me to give him some mushrooms. Uh, I need to go to a cave to do that. And I think if I recall correctly, there is actually a entrance here somewhere to What now? A short strike with a lethal twist that inflicts a lasting pain on the victim. But he says that's for shanking people. Does that mean that you need a dagger to use that weapon? It doesn't specify what weapon this uses. What now? It's a short strike with a lethal twist that inflicts a lasting pain on the victim. Real useful to shank someone who owes you money. Um, hmm. Hey, Asha. Um, I did change my schedule, actually. I now stream from 9 in the evening to 12 midnight instead of 5 to 8. So now you'll be able to actually come to my streams. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you can actually come now. <laughs> Now, Friday, I'm still having my stream at the normal hours because that's when the fighting game tournament is scheduled. But for most regular streams, Monday and Wednesday will be at these new hours. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Undercity Passage. Last time I came here, I got my ass kicked. Let's see if that happens this time. Except this time, I have a much wider variety and better variety of weapons. Much better, much, much better weapons, in fact. I uh, better equip some decent armor than Cortison. That too. I can do. Hey, Seal! How are you tonight? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, failing that, I can blow off some steam by killing bandits and selling their garbage for monies. 
Oh, I fucking forgot. So it's really dark down here, too. I can't see anything. Can't get he can't have shit in Detroit. Let's see. Mostly good. Nice new design, lol. Oh, thank you. This is my PNG tuber design because I was tired of fighting uh, with VC face, trying to run VC face, and also outward at the same time. Um, it's just the outward does not like it when I try to run both at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, there's actually a lot of rare ingredients here for potions. In this section. I didn't even notice was here. This is... It's legit. These, uh, this underground passage is legit. Like, a maze and has all this shit hiding everywhere. I would take out a torch, but it's safer to just use the regular lantern because... I need to have my weapons out in case someone attacks. the hell is down here? Palace passage key is required. Oh, I'm stupid. I left the palace... I have the palace passage key, I think. But it. I left it back in my house in Chersonese. Oh, well. Ooh. An iron vein. Don't mind if I do. And I got a medium ruby. I could sell that for a pretty penny. More arrows. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? Did you see that? Um, oh. Well, that's not good. The trap door in it? Okay. If I recall correctly, there were some bandits in this particular cave section that kicked my ass last time. In fact, there's one of them down there. Let's put out the light. Let's see if we can get the drop on him. Oh, there's one over there too. It looks like a mage. We're gonna kill this guy first because he's gonna give me trouble. And from this distance, I can snipe him in the head, probably. I probably should also equip my arrows. That would be a smart thing, right? Be very, very quiet. We are hunting wizards. If I shoot him from far enough away, I should be able to take him out before he can even get up here. From all the way up here. Either that or his pathing will break anyway, and he'll get stuck, and I'll be able to cheese him to death. I missed. Entirely. His AI pathing has gone curious, but he doesn't know where I am yet. Just need to wait for Sniper Shot to reload. And we'll try that again. Or he can hide behind a pillar. You know, whichever comes first. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me right now? How'd I miss twice? Okay. Uh, let's wait again! <laughs> Thankfully, the cooldown is actually a lot, not as uh, bad as I 
as it used to be. I don't know why it reduced. I just heard him equip his mace. Does he know I'm here? Oh, that got him. Or her. It's a her. Looks like she has detected my presence as well. But doesn't have much help left. Oh man, did she just chop off half my health? She did. Unfortunately, I chopped her all. I chopped her first. Looks like I took some... I got a debuff though. 25% movement speed. Cringe. Dang though, she did a lot of damage to me just then. Why is this in my pocket? Actually, I just noticed now that for whatever reason, I'm no longer overburdened. I wonder why. Hmm. Let's see now. Huh? Am I strong enough to fight the other guy over there? That guy with a shield? In this game, if you do if you try to play fair against the NPCs, they will wreck your face. It's better to take full advantage of everything that the game gives you. With regard to Oh yeah, this guy's almost done. You're trying to knock me over the edge, aren't you? Well, you're not going to. Really wish I had my kick, uh... Ow. Loot Desert Lieutenant. Ah, see you later. And his body falls to the eerie depths. I didn't get much from that, did I? Kind of annoyed. Oh well. Let's find more people to hunt, huh? I'm gonna get them back for what they did to me last time I was in this town. Which was like three sessions ago or something. Are there more any any more bandits that respawn down here? There's one. Looks like they're using a pole arm too. Pole arm users are a pain in the ass in this game. They have wide range, and because sometimes the game glitches and makes them hit you several times with one swing. So we're gonna get rid of him. Might be a low level bandit from the looks of his armor, actually. I really love this Coral Horn this a bow I'm using right now too. The Coral Horn bow. It causes pain to people it hits, which is a debuff. It's gonna take a while for AI pathing to get up here, I think. I don't even know if he can get up here actually. Oh, it's on the opposite side, that's why they probably got stuck. So let's get a little bit closer. Let's see if we can find... Oh, shit. There are two of them now. Okay. This guy here with the green hood, with the green uh, toilet paper roll for a head. Looks like he might be difficult. Gonna shoot. I missed again. My shot... I sh suck at shooting in this game. <laughs> I'm also almost out of arrows. Which can be very problematic, don't you know? Uh-oh. I think he knows I'm here. I almost fell off to my... D oh, fell off the ledge. Howdy! Howdy! 
Oh, you're almost dead, actually. Loot him as well. Take his spear. This has been fairly simple so far, but now that I have said that, it will surely become not so simple fairly soon. Just wait. I'm gonna, like, spelunk around here and accidentally run into a Wendigo. Did he just... He did not notice I shot him in the back with a sniper with a... with a, uh, arrow? Is... Oh, shit! There he is. Someone is not a happy camper. I don't think he realizes I'm right here yet. Okay. You didn't take any fall damage? Usually they do. That's weird. I swear this targeting system is going to get me in trouble eventually. Ow. Got you. Ooh, cactus pie. And a steel saber, too. And a steel shield. I can sell all this stuff to the uh, weapons guild upstairs. And since the, their, since the Levant is suffering from hyperinflation, I'll be making a pretty penny. I'm not that overweight yet. Is this something I can harvest? No. Hmm. I couldn't tell if that was a rock or what. Hey, look. Blood shrooms. Those are for making health potions. Let's turn on the lights really quick, huh? Hmm. A shovel. A bedroll. Did I just kill a bunch of hobos? More blood mushrooms. Oh no, they're murderers. I wonder if there's like a smuggling operation going on down here or something. Fairly empty. Ah, a chest. So we got a rondel dagger. And several buff or buffing items. Could always use oh, always need those. Cringe. There's not much of a haul down here, chap. This is decidedly not pog. But at least I managed to get rid of those guys. That's one less problem to deal with, at least until they respawn. Okay. This is just feels like I'm just asking for trouble, going down this dark cavern with very little vi limited visibility. But at least I got the mushrooms, finally. I can grill these, and I can give them to the homeless man- the, uh, man living in the barrow. So that's not all bad. Is that it, though? Or- Oh, hello! These guys look like they're fairly, they look like they would be fairly difficult to fight, at least at the same time. I wonder if there is a oh, there's a switch somewhere that I can use to go here and to go there. It probably is. I just need to look for it. But before that, let's go back topside, complete this quest, or a couple new quests, sell my junk, and then we'll see about con looking for those troglodytes. That's literally what they're called. They're literally called troglodytes. <laughs> so far, so good for today's stream, actually.
It's not gonna let me harvest the cactus. Why? Give me the cacti. Okay, this is the secret exit to Abrasar. I wish there's a way to repair these. Spooky. Starting characters can't use magic. Mana must first be unlocked at a ley line. Time to get out of here. Well, actually, let's just go to bed. In game, I mean. Hey, come on. There we go. music <laughs> you are thirsty I thirst said the thirsty man let's do something about that shall we where are all my water jugs there we go at the slums again. Here we go. This way. <laughs> and here we are again. Is this a manhole? Listen. Hey, Tokaga. Oh boy. Let's sell some garbage to you really quick. Oh my god. They pay a lot, don't they? What the shit? Ah. I love inflation when it benefits me. We just made bank. I made 243 silver from that the transaction. 
I could also sell you my medium-sized ruby too, couldn't I? Now, so that's the uh, caravaner. I guess if I really wanted to, I could also sell my magic rags. Do you have any good stuff to sell to? A Tuanosaur mask, a Scarab mask, Ash armor, Pathfinder armor, and Ash boots. <laughs> you got any uh, axes I can build here? Beast Golem Max, Assassin Claymore, what the hell's an Assassin Claymore? Crescent Great Axe, Manticore Daggers. They don't really have much in the way of hatchets, do they? Except for this one, the Beast Golem Max. I don't think I have the materials necessary to use that one though. This one's cool too, this uh, Pathfinder mask. It even has a gas mask in the front of it, which symbolizes its resistance to poisons. I could also just buy a gun from him, a cannon pistol. Disgusting. I can have money. Feels good, man. What else are we gonna sell? Uh... Can sell him the oil too. Nah. You know, I almost never have to refill my lanterns in this game, for whatever reason. I guess I should put some of this stuff in my pockets. I have a lot of fabric, actually. Damn. I didn't realize. I also didn't know that it was that easy to make fire rags. Even made me reduce a little bit of weight. An edible nut, that's the main ingredient in stamina restoring. Now that I got a common mushroom, let's go ahead and cook the said mushroom. Got grilled mushrooms, and I think this might be the end of the quest line. Finally, I hope. I'm glad they made it such an easy thing to do, too. I mean, easy in the context of everything we've had to experience so far in this game, right? Did anything new respawn here? Another dark green garb? Don't need any new cloth, any cloths right now. Talk to the Barrel Man once more. Greetings, friend. Can you lend me a hand? Remember this. Yes. Miss, what's what is this? Yeah, a magical floating a dish that'll make a one a one happy. You wanted the ultimate dinner, right? Oh, no fucking way. Did he actually give me what I think he gave me? Oh my god, chat. 
curious. Oh, oh, all right. I remember you wanted the ultimate weapon. I just got confused. Well, I guess there you have it, an ultimate weapon. I can't use this as a weapon. Everyone will laugh at me. Chat, would you like to guess what the ultimate weapon is? Just take a take a wild guess. <laughs> because this whole time he was asking me to give him to get him food, various different kinds of food, and also bits of like, like uh, bits of like metal and stuff. Really rare materials too. Let me tell you, it was such a pain in the ass to complete this. Farewell, my friend. That's right, the mysterious check room. The piping hot little Domino's for our pepperoni pizza. Hell yeah, the weapon, the weapon of champions. <laughs> the ultimate weapon, <laughs> the pizza. I saw this first in Seth's review of the game. And he just casually was like throwing pizzas at people. I never explained why he was delivering pizza to people. It does 16 melee damage and 16 fire damage. But you need to be, and it does 35 impact. But you need to be a mage to even cast it, and you need to know chakram spells to use it. None of which I have. So right now, this weapon is actually use so useless to me. I can't even I can't actually use this weapon. Not yet, anyway. Well, I did say I was going to become a mage, so I guess I'll have to now. So I can throw pizzas at people. What are you wearing? Oh. I think that's a prostitute. Anyway, let's go uh, give alms to the poor. If I could find... Ah, ads in the middle of my stream. Yes, indeed. Um, oh. <laughs> Gonna wait a little bit for the ads to finish before I continue. Alright, so I need to find the guy who was collecting alms for the poor. <laughs> there he is. It's Seal, can you... Is the ad's over? Can you hear me now? You look like you've been around. Spare a few silver, mate. Thanks a bunch. I see people over there. Over here. You look like you've been around. Spare a few silver, mate. Uh, let's see now. You look like you've been around. So, Spare Seal. A few silver, basically, mate. Twitch changed it so that. They play ads on your channel even if you say no. And the way it was currently set, they always play pre-roll ads, which are ads that play before the stream even starts. But when that happens, most people click away because no, no, no one wants to stay around to see what the stream is like when the pre-roll ads start. So in exchange for getting rid of pre-roll ads, you can opt in to play, have ads play in irregular intervals. Which in my case is a minute and 30 of ads every 30 minutes. So I set that option on so that pre-roll ads never play. So that when people first click into the stream, they can watch the stream immediately without having to sit through a bunch of ads first. It's an unfortunate compromise. 
had to turn that on to reduce the pre-roll ads in my stream to get a boost in uh, viewers. But on the bright side, they at least pay for me for uh, the ads of like a few bucks here and there. So I'm grateful. Unfortunately, that's what I had to do. All right. Ooh, because thanks by giving this guy money, they've used the money to open a passage to, pass, passage to Tamara's shop, who sells cool stuff, apparently. And same price, though. You look like you've been around. Spare a few silver, mate. I wonder if anything changes if I give him more silver. As a reward for my generosity, a shop with rare goods will be open to slums, but Pigeon and I at yet ask for more silver. Hmm. You look like you've been a I'm great. I wonder. You All look right. like you've been around. Thanks a bunch. What else are you gonna give me, Pigeon and I? You've really helped us out. I'd like to return the favor to you. I help organize some of the smuggling of necessary of necessary goods to some, so I'd like you to have some of our last shipping this year. Pichinai puts two fingers up to his lips and lets out a distinctive whistle. A moment later, he receives a whistle in response. I got one of my boys to open up the stash for you. Head over to the training area near the Rogue Trainer. You'll find that the small alley there has been opened up to you. It's mostly weapons and stuff like that, left in the shipment. Uh, feel free to help yourself. Aww. I guess there is goodness, after all, to giving alms to the poor. Alright, Nano, thank you for visiting. And have a good sleep. Our next stream will be on Friday. Have a good night. I'll hop on Jeff Bezos with my 500 pound seal by the otherwise. <laughs> thank you, seal. Always appreciate it. But yeah, they do, they do actually pay streamers for the ads. Even though it's not much. It's still money. In fact, funny thing. I got an email from Twitch saying that they're increasing the amount that they pay streamers for ads to 55% over 50%. <laughs> he gave stuff to a homeless guy once and he taught me how to pick locks. Really? That's actually really cool. <laughs> Wait. The training area near... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. I got my first gun in this game. I didn't even need to pay for it. Well, I guess I technically paid for it, but, you know. Thank you so much. What can I do for you? This could be useful. I could use that in combination with uh, counter, which causes gives people, which uh, causes confusion to people using the claimer weapon. So the next time I visit Levant, apparently, um, Tamara's shop will open. I don't know where Tamara is, but she's around here somewhere. Let me check, actually, to see where I could find Tamara's shop. So this is Tamara the Smuggler, is a merchant in the slums in Atward. Will appear after it appears is sufficiently helped. In a repeatable quest, lost merchant. But where? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So. Over here somewhere next to Pigeon Eye. This is Pigeon Eye down here, which means Tamara's shop must be over here somewhere. I wonder if it spawns after I leave Levant or if I just leave the uh, 
or if I just leave this general area. I see a junk pile there that I can possibly get new items from first, though. So let's, uh, go up... Ah, shit. It was not gonna let me traverse to that area. How do I get over there? Try. We're gonna try parkouring around. Actually, I don't even need to parkour, do I? I can just drop down there. Woo! Ah, another junk pile full of oh, bright rich attire. I can actually sell this. For some money. Tear that apart. For cloth. There's a lot of dead bodies all over the place too. Open this chest up. A purple festive hat. Another bottle of water. Bouillon de Predator. Which is French I believe for soup broth of the Predator. And some wood. Could always use wood. I'll use the wood to build some more trip tire traps. And... Okay. Looks to me like we're reaching the end of our rope there. I'm carrying too much junk. We'll need to head back into town and sell off some of this stuff. And the exit is this way. Pulling out the shield so I can move a little bit faster. What am I going to sell? I'm going to keep the cannon pistol with me. I'm going to sell this one over here. Okay. I'm still annoyed that this shady-ass baron Farewell. freaking cuts me out of this house. Oh boy. Okay. Sell the spear. Why isn't he not paying that much for a Kopesh? I would keep the Kopesh if I didn't really have one back home. I just don't use it. So we'll go ahead and sell that. I'm gonna sell some of these clothes as well. So I got three of them. Don't need three of them. They're just taking up space in my inventory. That's disgusting. How can this is troubling? This is troubling. Ornstein sells pressure plate traps and also regular traps, guns, and uh, blueprints for making these. You can even craft bullets. I didn't know that. I guess from now on, I should keep any bullets I find. And goodness knows, there's a lot of them. Huh. Doesn't he also sell... I could have sworn the last time I talked to this guy... Oh, here we go. A coil lantern. So I can actually buy a powerful lantern, which only weighs one pound, for 420 blaze it, and use that to illuminate my path. That actually seems like a real. That actually seems like a fair, a fair thing to use to uh, acquire. Should make my life a little bit easier. Should be a lot better than using an explorer lantern. 
I wonder though if I can hang How it from can my pack. This is troubling. It's also fairly expensive too, which is what gives me pause. But I do have over 1,700 worth of silver, so I can actually buy it if I so wish. Hmm, I do have four bullets. All right, let's do some trading, my guy. What do these different clothes do, actually? Let's take a look at them. Bright nobleman's attire. <laughs> Fetching. Bright rich attire. White. And bright dark attire. I don't actually like the dark attire that much, to be honest. Chap, what do you think? Red? Or white? Red? Or white? Stat-wise, they're functionally the same. Haka, thank you for redeeming Hydrate. Let me go do that right now. Got some energy juice here. Gamer juice. How are you doing tonight, Baka? Welcome to the stream. White stains easier than red unless you're drinking wine. Wait, no, reverse that? No, you got right the first time. White stains easier than red. <laughs> unless you meant red wine doesn't stain red as easily, I don't think. I don't know. Reverse the wine. So, you think I should keep the red dress instead of the white one? Oh, especially if you're drinking wine. Good point. Alright, so we'll keep the red dress. And we'll sell the other two. I am, I am too heavy, I can't move. Okay. Shit, I still can't move. Okay. Look, I would buy a closet if this stupid fucking baron didn't cuck me out of a house. I've been looking forward to buying that house for a while now, but no, I have to do some more missions. Meanwhile, my food's gonna fucking rot in my inventory because of this asshole. Urgh. Anyway, How all in due time, I'm sure. This is troubling. Alright, so, um, so my extra clothes. Don't really need those. I don't really need two tents, is the thing. The camouflage tent is cool and all, but I don't really have a problem with being ambushed in the wild. So I don't really see the point. Also, why does the camouflage tent have a fatigue bar? So we're gonna sell that. And I drop the ruby as well. I don't really need any mana stones. Don't need these either. Um hmm. Hmm. I'll keep the hat. I don't need this purple festive hat, but it's already got one of those. 
Alright. In return, go ahead and give me... Oh, I'm dumb. That's still not going to be enough, is it? Alright, so I got 244 silver. I'm going to sell one of my gold ingots, or two of my gold ingots for... I need to sell four of them. Two. So that should be 24444. And that should be enough to pay for this. Cool. All right. And I don't think I really need a power coil because it has 500 durability. That's going to take a while. Awesome. So now, I have a power coil here, which I can attach this lantern, and that's what it looks like. Hot, so cool! Huh! That's actually really cool. Put out. I got a steampunk uh, lantern attached to my bag now. That's awesome. Which me and... So, I don't really need these lanterns anymore, but I'm gonna keep at least one of them around just for, like, you know, emergency sake. I probably should dump some of these things that I don't need. But... But all this stuff out of the way... I need to really think about what I should do for the rest of today's stream. I'm not in any hurry, of course, but we must have content. Hmm. Let's see what's on sale over at the uh, shopkeeper over here, actually. Want to buy some? Oh boy. I like that this actually slows down the decay of food. These Prospector backpacks are really cool because they actually have this uh, giant crane thing that's that sticks out of the back of your back and r is rides over the top of your head. So it illuminates the path in front of you instead of behind you and around you. It's functionally better than the Trader backpack actually. In, a in, in just sheer, like, utility. But the problem is... The Trader Backpack... Has 100% cap- has 100 capacity. It can carry a lot more junk than... The Prospector Backpack can. Except it reduces my movement speed by a lot, by 10%. Which, as you might imagine... Is kind of a pain. A Chitin Desert Tunic. What am I going to do, chat? It's time to get late in game, too. It's 6 in the evening. Alright. And I should eat some food before I get hungry. Just drinking Changdan some soup. Want to buy. Oh boy. So what I think I'll do Since I literally can't do anything for a little bit I want to go ahead and buy a Don't you take your backpack off when you fight anyways? I do Because it makes dodging around a lot easier but my backpack also carries stuff like my health potions and my buffs. So sometimes I might drop my backpack, but then it drops all the equipment that I need. And that gets dangerous really fast. I guess that's not that big of a deal, right? Oh. 
Actually, you know what? I actually got rid of enough stuff that my trader backpack is actually below the threshold now. So it's not that big of a deal anymore. Okay. Meteor is no problem after all. It's 6 in the evening. How about we go ahead and um, explore around the outside the Avasar Desert, fight some monsters, and then we'll go back inside the safety of the city, sleep, and then the next day we'll find some stuff to do. Sound good? Big money. That's right. I can make more stews if I need to. Okay. With that settled, let's go ahead and go out on an adventure, a late night adventure. Oh, I was gonna sell some stuff can to I Sorborium, didn't I? This worries me. Uh, is there anything I could sell to you, my guy? I'll sell you some ingredients since I don't really need those right now. Now, I'll, I'll keep that. Okay. I want to test out my new lantern anyway. So this would be a great time to do so. It's getting dark. It's getting hot also. Let's see now. Let's uh cons Don't need any of these just yet, do I? Oh. It's getting dark. Why can't I pick any of the cactus fruit? Did they not respawn yet? I hope it's not glitched. Hmm, what's up here? Hey, it's the Sorborian again. Greetings, friend. You're just everywhere, aren't you? Master Trader's Hat. 240. Also some shark cartilage, some of those cool plant tents, and some gemstones. I don't need any of this stuff right now, though. Let us go hunting. What are we going to kill tonight, chat? That's a good question. The, four, the moon over there is rising. Now if I remember, we could scale down the side. Hunt for these nuts. I'd hunt for your nuts any days. It's a lot easier to navigate the desert when it's dark than the other locations, probably because being a desert, it's very wide open space. <laughs> if I recall correctly, there's some rocks, uh, there are some uh, giant insects down here masquerading as rocks. So those would be fun to fight. A supply cache. Thank you.
Now, if I could just remember which one of these rocks was actually a giant insect. What are those things? I actually have not noticed those before now. Oh, I see you there. I know what you are. Called it. Ha ha! Ah, uh, remember when this used to be hard? <laughs> oh man. That was exciting though. No need to run. It's dead now, Jim. Eat shit and die, motherfucker. Yeah, I knew that was, I knew it was hiding there. All right, let's go see what those flaming things there are, chat. It's a very nice night for exploration. It's so hot out here, though, that I'm still taking... My heat is still increasing in spite of it being dark. Normally in deserts, it gets frighteningly cold in the evenings because there is no... Because the opposite issue occurs where there is no cover to reduce, like... Flaming homos? You might be right. We must go towards the gay, not away from it. Mine rich iron vein. Two gravel beetles. And some more iron spikes. Cool. I don't even... Oh my god! What was that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's an insect. It's one of those flaming insect things. Okay. We can fight this. There's only one of them anyway. If I recall correctly, this particular beetle is actually fairly easy to kill. And it's dead. Loot the fire beetle. Don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That just popped out of nowhere, too. That's kind of freaky. I didn't even hear him coming up at me. Oh, check it out. There are people there, after all. No idea how strong they are. One of them looks like a giant. I wonder if I can hit them from this far away. Shoot first, ask questions later, chat. Did I hit them? I think it sailed right over their head. Oh, my heat's increasing. I better eat more fruit. And I better eat something to cool myself down. Needles tea. Alright. This one should be easier to fight. I don't think he realizes where I am yet. This guy is going in the general direction of where he was shot. The other one is confused and is still wandering around. Oh man, this AI is actually fairly smart. What the hell? Oh god. Fight me, bro. Is that all you got? Pathetic. Oh, I'm running a stamina fairly fast. What's going on here? Not fast enough for this lieutenant, though. You're dead. GG no re. Okay, let's take out the other guy now. Seriously, though, what are those? Are those bones?
Oh, this guy is smart. He's using his shield. And he's dead. This is like... Frighteningly easy now. Desert boots. Two, three, five, seven. Let me uh, put on these boots here. Increase our weather defense. Oh, it's actually cold out now. Because it's late. Temperature cold. At 10 in the evening. Lulz is not impressed by your skill. Damn right I am not. We're wearing too much crap though to... Oh. Okay. I think I may have carried a little too much stuff. So let's go ahead and head back to town. It's pretty cold out here anyway. What a beautiful desert night. Isn't it, chat? Let me, uh... Why is my... There we go. I had to adjust my mic a little bit there. It was kind of falling down on me how about that does that sound good oh that's perfect actually uh mic levels are not too high i'm not talking i'm talking not directly to the mic but it's also not peaking as much as it used to or even maybe i could just do this how's that sound how do i sound sound good sound good sound good ha 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 Beep boop, boop boop pop, boop boop, beep beep, boop boop, pop 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 beep, boop boop pop. Alright, we'll keep it here then. Am I still carrying too much junk? I guess so. Uh, dump some of this here. Let's see how bright this light this lamp is. Where's my lamp? Oh. That's not bad at all. Fairly wide. A fairly uh large radius don't need to buy any batteries no, I figured there's no point in buying any batteries for it either oh what the fuck did you respawn already are you fucking kidding me one second oh he must be pissed from last time Get confused, buddy. Gotcha. Your ass is mine. Ooh, a sapphire. <laughs> was fun. I didn't expect them to res to spawn to respawn so quickly either. Honestly. It's actually getting really cold in the desert right now. There's a slight possibility that I could actually freeze to death out here. Thankfully the town is like right there. We explored the giant crystal tower in Chersonese. There's one in every map. We should definitely go explore it here in um, in Avasar as well. Avasar is the name of this desert that we're in, chat. Hmm. 
Now we can either sneak in through the main entrance or through the um, side entrance or through or we can go in through the main entrance. Right now I think the side entrance might be closer. That's a pretty heavy mite though. I'm concerned I I'm about to get cold I'm about to uh, suffer from hypothermia here in a second. If I don't hurry up. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Just climb the steps. At least I think this is the entrance. Yep. Okay, I managed to get inside the town before I started suffering from the cold. Or rather, before I contracted the cold. That always sucks, let me tell you. Let's take the big nappy. Since we're here in the uh, slums, we could also check out Tamira's. Which should be around here somewhere. There it is. Look at all those fancy weapons she has in the background. Touch it, you buy it. Give me a hand, will you? Thanks. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. She is really expensive, isn't she? Seventeen fifty for this? I could actually afford some of this stuff now. Actu actually. But it's still going to be costing me a pretty penny. 12,000... 1,225 for this wolf plate armor. She also sells some uh, expensive pieces here. Wolf plate boots. And they're not very good in hot weather either. So probably not the best idea. But I can sell them, so I might jump. And I have a few things I could sell them that I don't need right now. I'm sorry, my meat's starting to spoil as well. I guess I better get on eating these, huh? Before they all rot away. Desert boots. I only need really one of these. Sell this as well. Don't need a shield. Don't really need the desert kofesh hider. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 149 for that. I'm tempted to purchase the Pathfinder books and boots, I'm not gonna lie. But 438 is kind of a ripoff. And Wolf Sword looks really cool though. Why are Wolf Sword and Wolf Claymore? This Wolf Claymore looks op. It looks, it's a lot better than my Prayer Claymore back home. The question is 
do I need it? And the answer to that right now is no, not really. I can wait. You don't even sell any gold bars I can purchase, my girl? Rip. Oh well. Thank you, Tamira. Alright, so I need to go save one of her smugglers who didn't fail to make it home. And I need to also talk to the general store manager to deliver a ledger really quick. So let's go do that while we're here. Make some money. Very little money, but it is money nonetheless. Want to buy something? Oh, you and He gave me a large emerald as thanks. Thank you. Want to buy? Oh boy. Now I'm going to sell this emerald back to you. Because I don't need it right now. For a nice 80 silver. Actually, you know what? Can you trade me something for that instead? I wonder how you make chits in desert armor. Like, uh, hmm. Mage tent. That's actually really cool sounding. This has the best hot water defense of everything I got. I wonder if the Chitin Desert Tunic is made out of Bug Chitin and if it has decent um, stats over this other stuff I got going on here. Point nine. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I look like an adventurer, don't I? <laughs> Meat stew is about to spoil. Jerky is still fine. Read this. Tell me about this chitin tunic game. Oh. No shit, that's actually... This is really good. I just need to hunt a single bug to build that. I could probably just go back outside and get that. Let's do that, actually. Fuck it. can eat this uh, meat as well, because it's starting to spoil. I'll go ahead and make some more stews. Hypothermia does suck. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. So... I'm also starting to die from dehydration. Why do I have four steins of water? Holy shit. <laughs> there is such thing as too much water.
pretty sure I don't need this much water in the game. Can I? This worries me. Yes! Hmm, I could go to visit Harmata and see what that's like, too, if I really Farewell, want to. Farewell, my friend. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeems. Four Hydrate Redeems, no less. You know what's funny, but also kind of scary, Ace? I'm not sure if you were here that one night where I drank, tried to drink all my water skins, but I actually died from dehydration, from drowning in this game, from drinking too much water. Hey, Tear Wolf, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Town people probably thinking, oh my god, what's this drifter doing camping out here in public? Indeed. That's actually something that even Seth jokes about in the game, like, the game, in this, in this universe, in this world, people do not mind if you just set up camp and, like, squat in the cities. It's totally legal. Totally legal. Like, it's even commented on in-game that they just allow that. That's just a thing that they're fine with. All right, so what were you gonna do again? Oh yeah, let's explore more of the town. Actually, let's see what the alchemist has for us, shall we? Over here. That's not an alchemist. Are they sitting down here? Is it this person? Oh, it's this person. How can I help you? This is troubling. Understocked on everything? Well, they got a bunch of cool chakrams running around here. They got a book of unique spells. They got magical reagents. Lots of magical reagents. Chemist's broken flask. Whatever they have. Crafting the manticore dagger. And the Fang Greatsword, and also Fang Axe. Fire Rag, already know how to do that. Warrior Elixir. Bolt Rag. Life Potions. All good shit here. That alchemy kit's way too expensive, I'm not gonna buy that. Sorry. But no bueno. I wonder if I can sell my rags to this person and how much he would pay for them. Just five each? Eh. Okay, who else is in here? Twan the Alchemist, Yazan lives over there, Grand Inn, Smooth the Tailor. What does the tailor sell here, actually? Hey there. How have you been, Jialin? My crew and I are working on protecting travelers coming and going from the city. I want to tackle larger threats, but the rest of my people assure me that the animals here in Abersar need to be treated with fear and respect. Maybe at some point we'll be clear enough out of the old Sandrose mine. Maybe at some point we'll be enough to clear out the old Sandrose mine or the assassin bug hive, but until then we'll have to take what jobs we can. I wonder if that's what that fiery place I was looking at earlier is, if that's supposed to be the so-called mine. I want to visit it, but it's fairly difficult to travel around in the daytime because it's so bloody hot. Also, I need to clear out my inventory. I got too much stuff with me. If I'm going to go on a looting spree, I need to have room for said looting spree. Booba. Anyway, um... Anyway, um... Gather the drink. I will drink her water. Uh, gather the tr clear drinking water. But now this is a goddess I can get behind. See, the holy nation worships the god Alat, which is a person that became a god. 
But I don't know what this is, but I would worship, worship this goddess instead, personally. Let me see. Where is the clothes tailor? This person? Yes. I know exactly what you should wear, dear. This worries me. Let's train. I can teach you how to give yourself a boon of warmth. If it gives you resistance to flames and heat while increasing the damage of your own flames to you. Does 50 silver sound fair? Um, can I even afford that right now? Oh, that's why. I don't have power over magic yet, so I can't make use of the boon anyway. But yes, this worries me. Oh my goodness. Check this shit out. Hey, it's the Coral Horror Mask. They have a lot of cool clothes here, actually. This is really cool. Dancer leggings, sensual leggings that enable one to dance or fight without end. That's actually really cool. Looks stylish. While well, fighting stylish. Entomber armor. Presumably for entombing people. Red festive attire. For looking festive. Alright. Smooth the tailor. Shopkeeper Sewell. Message to Tokuga. Player house, which I can't buy yet because this cocksucker over here named Baron Montgomery uh, gave me a stupid tent instead. Yes, I'm still angry about that. Um... Hero's Palace. Let me check the mercenary trainer one more time and then we'll head outside to do some monster hunting. <laughs> what can I do for you? Frost Bullet. Shatter Bullet. Load a bullet with high impact, which also... Inf oh my god, this basically creates... Uh, sh or this basically creates... Um, what do you call those things? Hollow point shells or something? Not hollow point shells, but... um, It basically gives, makes them explode. Explosive rounds. For 50 silver, no less. That's a deal. Uh, let me acquire some silver really quick, and then I'll purchase that skill. I now have gun. My gun is somewhere. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, I'm holding it in my hand. Okay. So that's cool. I have a gun now. Okay. And anyway, uh, what was I doing? Yes. Let's um, let's purchase the gun skill. Can I help you? This worries me. Just need to buy one from you. Spicy meringue, raw jewel meat. How do you make a spicy meringue anyway? Bread of the wild even. They even teach you how to tell how to make that here. And you make how to make cactus pies. Alright, mercenary man. What can I do for you? Tell me how to create special bullets. Thank you. I must resist the urge to use one of my breakthrough points to learn this skill because, frankly speaking, I'll need to save that for learning to become a Jedi. Alright. All right, all right. Let's go out and do a little bit of hunting. 
and probably a bit of killing. I feel fairly confident in my skill to leave people out their lives, or at least animals. And to take a sippy sip of water before we go. I need to go out. I got four, literally four bags of water here. I need to drop some of these bags of water, actually. I think they're part of the reason why I'm having so much trouble keeping my trader's backpack low. I doubt I'll need more than two of them. So what I can do instead is I'll drop them over here next to my camp. Feel lighter already. Oh yeah, it's hot outside. I need to do something about that, don't I? Something like eating some fresh fruit. Do I not have any any anti uh, heat right now? Uh oh. Um. Oh shit. Wait. I have cactus pie. Consume the cactus pie. Okay. Uh, 3.45. Reduces heat, reduces heat, reduces stamina call. I could probably go without this for a little bit. Okay, but it makes me a lot heavier, which is a problem. We'll just have to make do for now, chat. Let us go hunting. Oh, our first victim of tonight, that jewel bird over there. There's some nice cactus fruit there as well. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting a giant flaming dodo bird. That's real easy, all things considered. It's going to spoil if I don't use it eventually, though. So we can't stay out here for too long, unfortunately. So we are here. I'm going in this general direction. There's a fort up there that I haven't gotten a chance to explore yet. This walled garden has a lot of interesting uh, automa auto automatons living in it, but also a lot of interesting loot, which I made off with last time I was there. This desert here is full of sharks and insects. And this Sand Rose Cave is the quarry I think that they were talking about last time. That's full of bandits. I think we can go ahead and try our luck there first. Four in the afternoon. Hmm. It's not actually as hot over here in this section. I wonder why. 
A river runs through it, huh? Fresh water coming in from there? From this location right here? That's interesting. Wonder what that building is. My own jeweled meat hasn't spoiled yet, has it? The one that I cooked? Nope. There's some salt rocks as well. Ooh, an iron vein. Hey, Blue Ogre. I'm having a great time. Thanks for asking. Thanks for coming to the stream, by the way. How are you doing tonight? Hey, this leads somewhere. I did not expect that, actually. Let's explore further. <laughs> What's over here at the river's end? A miscellaneous dungeon? Oh dear. It's been great so far. I'll be around to check on the game. Looks really good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. If you have any questions, feel free to let to ask. And we're going to wear some heavier armor for this one because I got a bad feeling about this chap. You're not going to fuck around over here. The music stopped for one thing. That's never a good sign. Oh boy. Ooh. Spicy. Oh, I fought you these thing, these things before. This is a fairly easy creature to fight. But now anyway. Oh, you think you can confuse me, huh? Come on up. With my current setup, these guys are fairly easy to kill now. Manta shrimp. And check it out. I can now craft the uh, desert chitin clothing. Oh. Hey, blue sand. <laughs> cool. Let's see. Explorer's lantern. Some predator bones. Steel. A torch. Grab everything, please. I like the atmosphere. The game actually makes you feel like you're exploring. It really does. I told other people this before, but I consider the way I describe Outward is Skyrim, but with all the immersion and combat mods added to the game to make it actually good, more or less. Is it not going to let me go down there? There should be a way because... Oh, yeah, it physically blocks me from going down there. There must be another entrance. Really? Um. Hmm. Alright, the game does not want me to go down there for some reason. There must be another entrance somewhere. So, I guess that's it. This was the only thing I got to fight in this, in this uh, particular dungeon this time but that's all right we'll go ahead and continue our previous uh mission previous direction and also i need to stop by the city anyway so i can build my new set of armor and also turn off my lantern so we don't waste any battery power Wait, are these dungeons randomly generated like a roguelike? Um, that whole misno- that whole, um, miscellaneous dungeon thing was a misnomer. They're not actually randomly generated. That's just what they're named. <laughs> That'd be insane if all these were randomly generated though, huh? 
But the game doesn't give you maps for everything, so it might as well be randomly generated because it's easy to get lost if you're not careful. Consume fruit. Actually, I should say one needs to make more needles tea. Mm hmm. There are some caves that are actually a lot smaller, and at first I thought that's all this game was full of, just really small caves like that. Until I ran into one of the actual major dungeons, and it was long, and it was scary, and you never knew what was around the corner. Every time you think you've got this game figured out, it surprises you in a new way, let me tell you. By the way, free salt. Free salt added. It's almost nighttime in game chat, which means it'll be time for us to go bug hunting again. Let me just uh, stop by town really quick to go do some errands and then it's six in the evening right now, which means the sun will be going down fairly soon. And then we can make our way back towards the um, back towards the San Rose cave. <laughs> I know that cave that we were just in, you can go to the bottom there because I saw blue sand, which is a rare material that you need for crafting. I saw it at the bottom of the cave. I don't think the devs are so cruel that they're going to put it down there just for like looks and not because you can actually reach down there. But I probably just need to go in a different direction. So, who knows? We'll find it eventually, I'm sure. Can you show the world map really quick? Um, I can. But just to keep in mind, this is only a part of the world map. Let me go back outside really quick, after I... So... This is the world map for only the Desert of Abrasar. The base game has four locations, I think. Sherzo, the marsh, the Emerco Forest, and the desert. I have the expansion installed, which adds like two or three more or so. So this is where we are right now. This is, um, and I was over here in the little cave right over there. And this is where we're going to be going tonight. Curious, PNG tubing today for GPU safety? No, I'm PNG, PNG tubing today because both this game and VC Face use Unity, and Unity does not appreciate me trying to run both games at the same time. So even though I have a very beefy, P, a very beefy uh, GPU, my CPU is not out to snuff, and it's having trouble running my PNG tuber and all, or running my. Uh, 3d tuber and also the game at the same time so last week i got really frustrated and said fuck it and just put on my png tuber and suddenly the quality of the gameplay improved dramatically i could really quickly show you my 3d tuber if you like <laughs> okay I'll probably... <laughs> what was I going to do again? Oh, right. Can I help you? Uh, talk to this person here and purchase some... Want to buy some... Oh boy! Purchase a desert tunic from this guy here. Which is really fucking expensive because everything is overly inflated in this game, in this, uh, in this particular town. But we have monies. At least for the time being, we have monies. I could sell my jewel meat, but I don't want to. Eh, I don't need any raw eggs right now. My cooked alpha meat's starting to spoil. I might need to get rid of that. Oh, shit. My cooked meat's starting to spoil, too. Great. 
bird's egg. Okay. You pay 81. Cringe. Cringe. Sell all my explorer lanterns. Ah, fine. Jeez. Okay. Now we go up here. Voila! A new tunic. Impact resistance 28, hardware defense 20. Impact resistance 13 slash, I guess? I don't know what that symbol means, actually. How does it look on me? Oh my god. I think this is the first set of boob armor I have ha ever gotten in the game. <laughs> wow, it's available for PS4 and has split screen? Yeah, it's a coop game also. It's really good as a coop game, in fact. Or so I've heard. I've not gotten a chance to test it out myself. Also, if you do end up getting the game now, um, it's recently released a definitive edition that has all the DLCs installed. And supposedly they got rid of some of the optimization issues. I would upgrade, but they completely redid somehow the uh, questing and items work. So if I upgrade to the um, Definitive Edition for free, it would erase my save. And I've already spent like 50 hours on this particular character, and I don't feel like doing that just for that purpose. So... Okay. Um, 13. You know, this has really high impact resistance because of the chitin. Extremely high impact resistance, actually. That's actually really cool. Get it? Cool? Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. That wasn't very funny. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. Let me go ahead and just fucking pony up some money want to buy some oh boy and buy another one of these backpacks you know what fuck it Get me another Prospector backpack, I guess. Fucking inflation. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. Did you know if you put stuff in the microwave and hit buttons, it gets hot? I did. Dang, I would die. I'd probably give it a chance if I managed to manipulate a friend and play it with you. Aw, fair enough. Light campfire. Use cooking pot. Proceed to... No. I need to use the cooked meat. And I'll use that with some birds. It, actually, can I make omelets too? Huh? Fungal cleanser. Does this actually cleanse fung fungus? Got very tartine. No, no, no. Mine was omelet. So, I'm forgetting. What else do I need to make my pungent paste? I can make... What, what am I missing from making pungent paste? Am I missing salt? Do I have any salt? I got plenty of salt, so what am I missing? Well, I should at least cook the chew meat so it doesn't spoil. But I'm fairly- I'm gonna lose my- lose my cooked meat fairly soon, because it's spoiling from the heat. So I'm gonna give myself some steak dinner tonight. Gonna drink some water. And I'm going to equip a new backpack- I'm going to um, drop my backpack here. And hit. 
I didn't think this through. Where's my other backpack? Where's the other one? The one I just bought. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Equip this one. And now we're just going to bring the bare essentials with us, chat. Which includes some armor. Actually, I'm going to be wearing... Yeah, or desert armor at this time for this um, for this fight. Uh, mysterious check ram can go. My mysterious check ram can go back. My pizza can my can go to the crater backpack. I'll probably redeem say a random meme 420. Uh, shit. What random meme am I gonna say for this one? Uh, I need to rethink that redeem because it's actually difficult to think of a, of a meme on demand. I just sort of meme about, like, over the course of actually playing the game. So, I'm not so sure now how I can, what me, possible meme I could say to offset that redeem. Give me a second here. Change it to something wholesome? I probably should, shouldn't I? But what wholesome thing is still going? You're hardcore? I mean, it's not that late. It's only 11.35. Did you think I was gonna be... Did you think I was already done? Right now, I'm trying to think of a meme to use. And I honestly can't think of a good meme to say right now, which makes me feel bad. Oh. How about some quote from Velociraptor? Velociraptor has had many a quotes, is the problem. Or is part of the problem, I guess. There's also a trader out there, so I should probably bring some of these rations with me just in case to give to him. And also a tent. All of my traps. One of these. All these. Okay. Should I bring my gun with me? Yeah, sure. It's not that heavy anyway. Bring the bullets with me as well. Bring some scrap metal. And we are good to go. Okay. Even brought my coral horn bow with me. One second. I need to think of a meme. What do you mean chocolate? Chocolate rain. I wonder if I could sing chocolate rain actually. Let me look up the lyrics for Chocolate Rain really quick. We'll use that as our meme redeem. It is really cool, right? It cost me 420, 420 silver bla silver to purchase to blaze it. I'm, that was technically a meme that I just said, but... That was, that was technically a, a meme. <laughs> Can I sing this? Does anyone even remember Chocolate Rain? Chocolate rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Baby born will die before this in chocolate rain. The school books say it can't be here again. Chocolate rain. What the fuck? These lyrics make no sense at all. I never really listened to the song completely, but I thought it made there was like a point to it. Prisons make you wonder where it went. Chocolate rain. Build a tent, save the world, is there- how could you forget? What did you forget? Oh, you mean you don't- you haven't forgotten the Chocolate Rain song. <laughs> I'm not- actually, I better not play it. This is probably copyrighted. Chocolate Rain. Zoom the camera out and see the lie. Chocolate Rain. 
forecast to be fallen. Yes, uh, I can't sing it. This, I think he must have. I don't think auto tune was invented yet. So I wonder how he made this song work. I am in South America, so I know nothing about chocolate rain, but I know about a serge. What's a serge? <laughs> A serge. Last ketchup, the ketchup song, a serge Spanglish version. Official video. The ketchup song is the debut single of Spanish pop group Last Ketchup, taken from their debut studio album Hijas del Tomate. I can't pronounce I can't pronounce Spanish properly, so please, uh, Paul, I please uh, forgive my terrible pronunciation. Is the famous song that sounded a lot back in the day over here? I'm not gonna lie. At first, I thought this was the Bla the uh, Friday song because of the she has the same expression as the Friday girl. <laughs> All right, back to the game. I had to pause the game because if I don't, time continues to fly by in the game world, and that could be problematic for a variety of reasons. Alright, we are all set. Let us go bully some bandits, chat. Running across the, uh... Gonna run across the... Gonna drink some water, and then we're going to make our journey across the desert into a den of, sc a den of scum and villainy. We run pretty fast, actually. It's actually cold outside now. Which might be a problem. But, eh, we'll make it. We'll just have to run really fast. Where are we running, you might ask? You'll see in just a bit. Oh, it is actually fairly dark. We should probably turn on the lights, huh? Ta-da! And this is the reason I like this uh, bag, because it actually has the lantern hanging from the top instead of the bottom. So it illuminates in front of you as well as behind you. You have to turn on and turn off the lantern to save power, basically. It works for the other lanterns as well. This one is actually magically powered, and you need to buy power cells to run it. And power cells are expensive, so I want to make it last. But it should last for a fairly long time. Woo! Oh, shit! I almost fell. That would have hurt. Now, I wonder if the inset of the rock insects have respawned here. The rock insect has respawned, which means we have to bully it again. The definition of- one of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, and thinking that the result would be different. Get wrecked, motherfucker! It says something about this game that even at the level I'm at, he still managed to cut off a fourth of my health. Oh, give me your body. Or, shit. Hi. Did I bring my bandages with me? Thank goodness I brought my bandages with me. Okay. I'm suffering from confusion. Is that posture gauge below? Is that a posture gauge below its health? Um, it's actually a... I guess posture gauge would be an okay translation for it. Basically, it's the fatigue. It's basically a gauge that determines um, your balance, and a lot of your weapons do impact damage as well as regular damage. And if you get gain too much, if you gain too much uh, impact damage, you lose your balance and you fall over. And it's mostly weapons that do that are very heavy that do a lot of impact damage. 
And I happen to be wearing Chitin armor, which gives me a lot of impact resistance. So I don't fall over as much as easily as I would have uh, otherwise. Did the guards, th did the bandits that were here earlier respawn? I hope not. Oh, for a moment I was thought that was a person. That kind of spooked me. We're starting to freeze to death out here too. I need something that helps me with the cold. Protects against the cold, actually. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is a much, much bigger place than I thought it would be. I might have actually not brought enough equipment to deal with all these bandits. But we'll try. And again, they're probably not that strong, right? I'm gonna eat some bread. I'm gonna eat this. I'm just glued to this guy's bread off his corpse. I'm gonna leave this iron spear here for later. We will loot everything in this quarry after everyone is dead. Oh shit. I bashed him with my shield, which caused him to go off balance. And then I steal one of his bandages to use on myself. Playing with a friend would be so cool. One could tank and the other could focus on range damage. That's right. That's one of the ways to play this game anyway. Man, this quarry is no joke. There's so many bandits here to fight. Did he just block my... He did. Ow! That hurt, asshole. Man, this guy was carrying a saber, too. Not bad. Uh, I'm gonna drop the saber here for now, though. We will seek to loot their bodies after I have killed everyone in this, in this quarry. I turn off the lights also, in part because it makes me easier to see by enemies. I'm kind of considering if maybe this was a bad idea. Going out here in the depths of the night. Because I can't see anything. You can do sneak attacks? Yes you can. There's even a bunch of roguish classes you can be in this game. And you even get skills specifically for sneaky things, like, for example, backstab. <laughs> Spooky. I wonder how many bandits are in this camp. There's probably a boss bandit here that would be fairly difficult to fight normally. Oh, hi there. Yes, fall off the cliff. Fall off, fall off, fall off. No, don't, don't you dare kick me off. Oh shit, there's two of them. I'm actually low on health right now. So I'm being careless. He took the full brunt of that one. Got you too. Okay. Food. And I picked up this guy's sword and shield by mistake. I need to drop those really quick. I'll pick them up later. 
Suspense, let's go. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Yep, there's his corpse all the way down there. Can I mine these? What are these things anyway? Huh. It's really kind of interesting that there's actually a safe zone right here. The safe zones are marked by these... By the, um... By the butterflies. It's actually fairly hard to fight right now because I can't see worth a damn. So I'm going to actually go to sleep. How does healing work in this game? Two ways. You either can eat some, a few very rare very rare food stuffs which uh, peel a actual well you can either drink potions which heal you a set amount of health like immediately but most of the time you'll be eating food which heals your food which heals you over time slowly but potions are kind of a pain in the ass to um, make until later in the game so you really get the chance to use them anyway we're gonna take a nap for two hours It's kind of funny that they added a safe zone right out, right inside the bandit's quarry. It makes me wonder if maybe this is meant to be a rather difficult area, and the devs decide to give you a safe zone to make things a little bit easier. Makes me very sus, suspicious. Oh, uh, there's another bandit right there. We're going to eat a meal. We're going to eat breakfast. I'm going to save this, actually, because that does extra damage to foes. Um, eat some jerky. Bonk. Shh. Bonk. Shit, man. Bonk. Took him a while to figure out that I was that I was coming for me. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's actually, there's more bandits over here. That was not a good idea. Makes me even more confused why they set it up like that. But And I missed my shot again. Great, thanks. That's good. I better... Preserve. I'm actually out of arrows now. So if I'm not careful, I'm gonna fuck myself dry. Uh, okay. It appears that I have aggroed both of them. Come on, come over here. Get over here. Ah, oh, he blocked both of them. Didn't block that, though. Ow. The AI of these... NPCs are actually a lot better than some of the other ones. Unfortunately, they still lose to me. Let's try this one, eh? Aha! Ow! Ow, shit, man! He managed to hit me three times! Got you. Again. He has desert boots too. Those are fairly good. Am I carrying any? Am I wearing desert boots? I am. Okay. Give me your iron. And I need to make sure I'm not bleeding to death here. And now 
we're gonna face this or fight off to kill this other bandit over here really quick. Drink some tea. Fairly sure I can kill this guy without having to use sniper shot in him. Oh, he must be stuck. Yep, managed to get him too. Glad I got so many bandages too, because I'm taking a lot of damage. Makes me almost uh, enough damage to make me almost miss my armor. Let's explore deeper into this quarry. Is there any more bandits to fight? Mm-hmm. And those were actually fairly weak enemies, believe it or not. There are some enemies in this game which just one-shot you. I was trying to clear out the first map, actually, until I ran into an enemy that I couldn't fight because even with, like, using a dozen traps, it still had more than half of its health, and it killed me in one shot. So at that point, I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll have to wait a bit. Enter Santa Rose Cave. Here we go. We're actually entering the dungeon proper. One shot. What a waste of all that padding that would be. And no right. At that point, that's when you realize that, oh, I'm probably undergeared for this area. I should go play the game a little bit lo longer and then come back later. I probably, in retrospect, I should have probably brought more buff spells than these. I hope my armor is up to snuff too, because this is fairly decent armor for desert weather, but it's not, it's not that decent for like combat because it doesn't have that much protection. It really does, yeah. This is one of those games that doesn't really feel like it has any wasted um, actions or anything, honestly. I don't want to fall to my death again. Okay. Something tells me this is going to be a fairly long, lengthy dungeon. Hello. Oh, he blocked it. Block this, though. Ow. Stay dead. Okay. Oh. Does that guy have an arrow have a bow? He does. Oh, and he spotted me. Ow. That actually hurt just then. I need to figure out how to get up there. I wouldn't be able to fight without the lantern on, honestly. Yep, that's also why targeting is really important in this game. But you get used to it, you know? Alright, I think he's lost track of me, so I need to figure out how to get up there. It's probably this elevator. Um, 
Why did I get the feeling that that's not what that was for? What the hell did I just turn on? Open worker's corpse. Oh! Shit. Alright, you know what? Fine. Okay. Ow! Ow! How do I get up there? Where is the entrance? So it was not this one, huh? This is not the thing that opened that. Okay. So it's probably around here. What's this one do? Oh, I almost got run over by a train just now. I understand now, actually. I understand what's going on here. So, this open, that moves the thing out of the way. Some blood mushrooms here. Ow. Can you stop doing that? It's gonna suck if I get down here. I'm gonna kick your ass once I get up there. Just you wait. Unless there are more bandits here waiting in ambush. There you are, you son of a bitch. Damn rioters can have sweet revenge. Yeah, that's right. Keep aiming at the freaking ceiling, asshole. Oh, what's that? You didn't see me coming? Ah, fuck! I fell down. Where am I? Oh no. Shit, man. Where am I? I don't. Oh, god damn. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Wait. I don't know what that opened. But. What is that? Do you hear something? Something is happening on the upper levels. I could hear, I could feel it. Oh, that's why there is a mage trying to throw shit at me. I see. I see you there. Ow. That would have been bad just now, actually. Ow. I cannot allow her to cast any more spells. Ugh. Okay. I'm hungry. Let's eat some food. I should probably have brought some meat stews with me as well. Someone is still trying to... I think the bandit from up there before is still trying to shoot me. Well, you'll get yours soon, buddy. Once I figure out how to get out of here... It's definitely not that one. Maybe it's this one?
Oh, that's a steep fall over there. Is that the same bandit from before? That's a different one, right? Alright, and then, uh... What's this one do? Oh! Okay. Don't you just love puzzles? Okay. Take arrow. Okay, that one's closed. Oh, hey, it's a it's the uh, bandit from earlier. Ow! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. So what happened was, I kept switching, I was trying to use a skill and accidentally unequipped my axe. Yeah, that was fucking stupid. By this point in the game, you would think that I would have gotten used to that, though. Oh, I got saved by Geb. Thanks, Geb. Where did you spawn me, though? Where am I, Geb? Come on. Let's see, if those big... If those big hives are over there, that must mean I'm... Oh, fuck my life. I'm over here, aren't I? Yep, that's where he spawned me. Thanks, Geb. I guess it could be worse. But still. Geb, where's the drink that you usually give people when you save them? Yeah, the map does not show you your location. You need to... You need to basically use, um, you need to use, whatchamacallit, um, place markers, or what you call it, landmarks to navigate yourself in this game. Let's see, uh, restore stamina, restore burnt, restore burnt health, restore burnt stamina, please. And also makes me slightly immune to the summer heat for a short time. So I'm pretty sure I'm over here. Because the screaming tower should be... But the screaming tower is over there at Vigil Pylon. So that's northwest and we should be going northeast. We got a bunch of horrors here which I don't feel like fighting because I don't have my full equipment with me right now. So we're going to sneak past them. Also, that horror over there is a bitch. I don't have... My weapons are not anywhere near good enough to fight it right now. Oh, I'm being chased. Great. Thanks. It's just galloping towards me. Oh, obsidian elementals too. That's just lovely. We will walk... And burning men as well. And a palladium vein. Nope. Uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Fucking homing fireballs. Woo! And I am on fire. Use the water. God damn it. That flaming deer was getting back at me for all the times that I kicked its ass in the past. I think I will, or it, I'm going to very at the very least. I'm going to bring more equipment with me this time. My food's probably. Oh, my food did not rot away this time. I think what I'm going to do this time, do differently this time, is bring a decent set of armor. And I'll show you what I mean by decent set 
of armor. Yeah. I'm gonna bring the good stuff this time. Fuck it. Which one of these should I use? Hmm. Where do petrified wood armor? Because blue sand armor is decent, but eh, I don't like the stamina cost by comparison. So. Put those away. Combing fireballs can only be the work of cheap magic. I know, right? That's the first time I ever died to that particular enemy, too. Usually, I'm fairly decent at killing those things. I may brewing some tea for the journey as well. We have a lot of cacti to brew tea with. I need some water, though. Gather tree Drink some water. More, more tea. Let's see now. Let me confuse and have pain issues for the next ninety seconds. Unfortunately. I guess I'll cook some food as well while I'm waiting. And I don't want it to make any meat stew because this increases my movement speed. Too, huh? We are going to use magic spells on all these stupid motherfuckers. All of them. And it will be glorious. the elite hood. <sighs> Man. My stamina is drained. It is day 167. It's 4 in the evening. If I wait a little bit longer, it will be dark and we can head to the bandit camp with little problems, with few problems. go to bed. Oh, shit, you know what? I left my tent at the bandit camp, so I can't even go to bed now without purchasing another bedroll, which I left at the bandit camp. Shit. Is this background music from the game? I only ever hear this stuff in music class. Yep, this is from the game. 
I imagine that the backpacks you leave around could be stolen. They actually can be stolen, and the game will give you a marker to where it is. That's one of the few times that the game will actually help you find something. Actually... There we go. Now then. Mm-hmm. Oh, the music in this game is excellent, by the way. Alright, so we're heading back towards the, um... Back towards the... Quarry. Hmm. It's not that far away. I should probably have eaten. Yeah. There we go. There we go. It's 12 a.m. over here, so I'm gonna go to sleep. It was really fun. Good luck with the quarry. Thank you. Thank you for uh, visiting today's stream, Blue Ogre. You have a good night. Honestly, if after I finish this dungeon, I'm probably going to head to bed myself. But I don't know how long this dungeon will... How long that's going to take. Hopefully not too late. I know you're hiding there still. I know the game respawns you right there. Giant rock insect. Leave me alone if you know what's good for you. Did they respawn the bandits again? Do I have to kill these motherfuckers all over again just to get there? Ah, uh, fine. All right. And of course, I'd miss. one of you just fine. We will leave their bodies there because I cannot be arsed to loot their corpses just yet. Instead, we're gonna go directly to the safe zone over there and take a rest for a little bit. Man, I do not have the patience to deal with you right now. Thanks for the fruit, though. The fresh fruit. <laughs> There's like a whole town up here too, huh? Interesting. There's actually a stash over there. I didn't realize. Oh, two of you at once? Come on. Oh, 
Ow, shit. For fuck's sake. <sighs> One second. Jesus fucking Christ, that was intense. Still made it though. Still got it. Traps. That's actually just what I needed. Thank you. Give me arrows. Or spikes. Spikes will do. Falling down there is probably going to kill me, right? I know your game. I know your tricks game. But what if I slide down there? There we go. I'm going to take a nice nap. It's past three hours. No matter. Like I said, we are going to complete this dungeon, and then we'll call it a night. You are cold. Alright. Let us continue. Back into the Sandro's cave, chap. I wonder if everyone's respawned. Oh, well, at least one of them has. That's a problem. Fucking really? Again? Oh, at least I'm respawning inside the cave still. Where am I now? This looks and looks, looks different. 
arrows, another steel shield, and makeshift torch. More importantly, where's my backpack? I should have spawned like right here. It should be, in fact, nearby. Around here, maybe. Shows you the location of the backpack at all times, which is right here somewhere. Oh my god. my backpack somewhere around there it's not this Latch. Is it the other one over here? Where's my backpack? Come on. Should have respawned right about here. Thank you. Put out. Sounds like they're fighting each other almost. Curious. What are they fighting? Better than better them than me, I guess. Yeah, they're definitely fighting something. Sucks to be you guys. <laughs> Something definitely died. Oh, hey there. Kind of speak to me for a second. Re 
Really? How'd I miss? Oh my god. Did you like sidestep or something? What the fuck? That fucking sucks. Is my bag all the way over there again? Was that? What just moved? Magic spells at me again, are we Potter? I see, so I need to flip this one. This goes down there, but I don't want to drop down there because it's rather dangerous. Instead, I want to find a different way to get around to the same area. God knows where that is. What's this one do? This closes that. So we'll keep that open so it's easier to get to this area in the future. That leads down there. This closes this. This does this. Oh, it's you again. Bastard from earlier. Got you that time, though. Fucking annoying. I swear to God. Give me your bread and salt. This does that? I don't get it, game. Do you want me to go down there? Is that what this is? It's clearly a death trap. I know a death trap when I see one, unfortunately. But I guess if there's nowhere else to go, they got no choice. What's this one do, actually? That just opens that. 
Oh, wait. I think I understand. Okay. Okay. Cool. And sure enough, I was right. It looks like there is a fight here. The assassin bug has been assassinated. I wonder if this is just a bigger version of the real world assassin bug. Assassin tongue vines, some insect hulks. Delicious, delicious palladium veins though. Don't mind if I do. Hiding pick is about to collapse though from the strain of using it. I wonder what's behind there. What lays beneath? Can I like, is there a way to open this? What does this one do? That one opens that one. This one opens this one. This one opens that one. So what the assassin would the assassin? What if I were to Is there something on the other end of that? Can I just flip the switch and then Oh, that was close. I almost fell to my death. Well I'll be an ornate chest. Did not expect this to be here. Broken golem rapier. So does it mean the rapier is broken, or does it mean... Hmm. Repair bow. We'll play boots. These are fairly expensive back in town. Ekmanite. And I'm not going to be going back here anytime soon, so I better just bring all of it with me. Good thing I got room. Look at you. Weighs a little bit more. Plus 4% stamina, but not as much movement speed reduction. A lot more durability. It's less uh, damage from this thing, but more impact resistance. Cold weed of other defense. And same protection, but more resistance to damage, slashing damage. Curious what's down there, though. Glorious. Okay. So. How do I investigate the rest of this place? So much time has passed by this point, I'm sure that What's-Her-Face actually has some missions for me, but... I'm too busy exploring this cool qu this uh, quarry, and I shall continue to do so until I've looted the absolute hell of this place. If I fight another bandit, it'll be far too soon. This must be their camp. Some raw meat just sitting there casually on the table. Oh man, those look nasty. Assassin bugs. 
open junk pile, a warm potion, some alchemy kits. I didn't bring any campfires with me, so I can't even use the alchemy kits right now if I wanted to. It's a shame we can't use those beddings either. If I want to go down there, I need to make sure to clear out the assassin bugs first, or that's going to be a problem. I could just play traps everywhere, couldn't I? Am I actually supposed to go down there? Almost fell to my doom again. to do some fast reflexes up here. Woo! Okay. We're on the right track now, chat. What a pain in the ass, though. What's over here? Nothing. I didn't expect platforming puzzles in a game like this, let me tell you. I heard someone equipping weapons just now. I'm not, still not entirely clear in what they can expect me to do. You can't jump in this game. So am I supposed to just run across this? You can run across it. Okay. Cool. Here we go then. Oh shit. Almost missed it too. Damn. There's a dead body here. Oh, someone's shooting magic at me again. A few summons. to make use of these. Finally. Should probably be saving some of them for the big bugs, though. Not even sure if they'll work on the big bugs, but it's worth a shot. I'm just getting kind of tired of getting memed on by these... Goddamn mages in this goddamn goddamn dungeon. That should be enough, right? Hopefully, there's some iron mine iron veins here to build even more. 
still got a fairly decent amount of room here. And some loot. Should move the traps a little bit further downward. Come on, then. Come on. Actually, that guy's not that hard, is he? Well, oh, wow, you survived that. Desert Archer is so difficult to kill anyway. This is some spy trap. We'll go ahead and kill the last bitch with our bare hands. She won't see it coming. Oh shit, man. When did you get so strong? What the fuck? Why won't the game let me place any traps down here? I mean, seriously. Seems very arbitrary. Exceedingly arbitrary, even. Really wish I had some health potions right now. Back to the old reliable. What the fuck did you just do? Really? Fucking exploding cold magic. <sighs> At least it's still here, just outside the cave. Man, is that annoying. What's more, her health has probably respawned, but at least my traps will still be there. Hope none of the bandits respawn, or that's gonna be very annoying. Good news is they have not. go to sleep though. Mm. My health is way too low. Thank God for this lantern. That is definitely worth Avery Silver. <laughs> 
What the fuck? Ah, someone touched all my traps after all. Sucks to be you. Also, get fucked. No, seriously, get fucked. I hate that lady so much right now. I'm tempted to just use a cannon to use the cannon pistol. I think I will try out the cannon pistol because I'm just that done. <laughs> oh, glory be. A most joyous day. This will be fun to watch. Hopefully it works. She stepped on some of my tripwires. Is she still here? That's weird. Where'd she go? Oh, no way! She killed herself anyway! <laughs> I got the last laugh after all. I'm okay with this. I'm legitimately okay with this. Elite Desert Veil? Elite? Ah, these are important, actually. Stability potions. Ice rags. Insect eggs, mana stone. This is fairly cool. Get fucked. Seriously, no, seriously. Get absolute fucked. This is blocking the entrance to the underground area. I don't think there's a way to open it from this side. I wonder why... When shot will inflict high pain damage on the enemy. Okay, so this opens it to the bomb layer where I saw the creepy crawlies crawling about. So, oh, yep, yep, there is the creepy crawly. I am not taking any chances with this, not after the night I've had. We are going to do whatever is possible to ensure our victory over the giant bug. Through any memes possible. That's our motto here. Any meme possible. I hope the assassin bug doesn't have some bullshit like a distance attack which attacks me from the back. Totally. Now having said that, it probably does. Or maybe it's just... It has a really long tongue, so I guess... The long tongue will be able to hit me from a decent distance away or something. I wonder if I could sneak attack it with my gun. Creepy crawly. There's one right there. Did I miss? What the fuck was that? Oh, 
Oh my god, that did a shit ton of damage. Are you kidding me? A lot of damage. So much so, I could just do this now. You're just stuck there, aren't you? Well, I've had a very bad night, so I'm not gonna even bother trying to fight you with melee. Eat shit and die. Fucking assassin bugs. Okay. Where's my cannon pistol out? Too much garbage again, I see. Oh, that's why. Another adventurous corpse. They have quite a variety of stuff here as well. Useful things. Oh, I see. There's another one right there. right they do have a very long distance attack but it is still stuck behind this very helpful device behind one of the trains it sucks to be you this one's a little bit smaller than the others. Bags overweight already? Is this area cleaned out? Did I kill everything in sight? Let's check upstairs. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Awesome. Hoggers, if you will. Hog champ, if you prefer. What's behind this door now? The anticipation. One more level, huh? have iron scrap. Can I tear apart one of these things to get more? They're not gonna let me tear apart that bow. But I'm out of trap. Wait, no, I'm not out of traps. But. Let me actually go grab my traps really quick. I'll leave them up here. Depends on how far down we're going. I also need to reclaim some more of my health if I want to continue like this. It's kind of dangerous going as far as I am right now. Otherwise. Having low health again has forced me to play more tactically and a little bit slower. You know, I was wondering, what are these things anyway? The hell is this? Something moved upstairs. Are there any more enemies down? Uh, assassin bugs? Dead assassin bugs. Why are they dead? I 
they supposed to be dead? What the fuck is this? Corpses. Naked corpses. Hey, Pastel. How are you doing tonight? I was nearing the end of this dungeon, so you came just in time. <laughs> At least, I tell myself it's in near the end of the dungeon, but realistic speaking, it probably isn't. This game, the dungeons in this game seem to go from either being obscene, being one room only, to being obscenely long. That's a fucking horror. No, 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 nope, nope, get noping out. I can't kill those things. I don't have enough, I don't have enough stuff for that. Oh, for fucking Christ, stop. Why did I lock myself out? Is the horse still following me? Oh, no, 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 no. No, for fuck's sake, why did I do that? I locked myself in, in the room with him. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Good thing he's slow. Fucking shit, I can't believe this. This is almost like Looney Tunes garbage, Looney Tunes shit now. I locked myself in a room with the horror. This must be the final boss of this area. Thankfully, it just respawned me just outside the dungeon. I wonder... I don't think I have the weapons necessary to kill this thing. But we will... I guess we could attempt to cheese it. What the fuck? Wait. Where's my... God damn it. One second. That was a clippable moment just now, not gonna lie. With me locking myself in the room with the... Horror. Cheese. Cheese. All right. Continuing from where we left off. We can probably cheese the horror. Because I will never, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat that in a fair fight. Quote unquote, emphasis on fair. But I did manage to cheese um, those two assassin books. So why not cheese this one too, right? Also, thankfully, I opened up a bunch of the different levels here. So I can don't need to go through that mini game to get back there. I can just walk around it. It's hiding, it's right behind here, right? This is where it was. Actually, if I'm lucky, maybe the horror will get stuck behind there. Because that's where the room where I died. You know... Actually, yeah, I think that's what happened. I think the horror is actually... Hog. The horror is stuck on the other side of this train. He can't get out. Damn right. As long as there's no another, another horror, there's a... That's not another horror. Unless there's another horror waiting here for me. What's up here?
Have I been here before? There's a bunch of dead bodies everywhere. What even opens that one, I wonder? Is there a latch that I've missed? No, okay. Watch another horror just spooky laugh. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Thank you for the spooky laugh, Redeem Pastel. It was fun. Oh, some decent items. I missed like four redeems. Oh. Wait, why did two people... Oh my god. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to that. I guess I was maybe getting a little too into the game, but I don't need to use the M key. The M key is for the map. But there's also no map in dungeons, so that didn't really do anything. I'm sorry to say, if you like, I can refund that, because it's kind of pointless in a dungeon. There's no map in a dungeon. Uh, Spooky Laugh has been redeemed. Bandit in-game options. Swap left and right hands between keyboard and mouse. I can do that one. Five minutes, right? What time is it right now? It's 1.07. So, what about until 1.013? Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. This is already going to be a problem. <laughs> um. Uh. Actually, I've never done this before. This is very interesting. There's an assassin bug on the other end of this train. By the way. Not that I can open that area anyway because of all these... Not that I can really... It was... What was a pointless redeem? I mean, you asked me to swap my left and right hands, and that's what I've done. I'm attempting to play with no left or right hand. I mean, swapping or, push, or banning the M button doesn't do anything because I don't use the M button in dungeons anyway. So I think I'll refund that one. But this one I could totally do. Or am doing at the moment, as it were. Let's go ahead and go look, go back to the place where we were earlier. Ambidextrous test. Let's go, ambidextrous. I'll have to move the mouse over here. Uh, that, this is... Here we go, okay. Ambidextrous test go. Pog. So, it looks like... This has not moved the train, has it? We'll need to figure out where the, what controls the train a little bit further down. Also, let's see if I can... I'm out of mid. I guess I can't heal anymore without going to sleep. And I could go to sleep. That's no big deal. I'll just need to get to an open area really quick. And I'll need... I'm starting to get dizzy from doing this. Holy shit. Um, let's select this. Okay. And then we're going to push the F button. Ambush, 100% is 100%. But if we do this... I should be able to... Confirm... You still gotta do this for a little bit longer. It's only 109. 
You are thirsty, you are thirsty. Your turnip has rotted. Oh man. I didn't I'm actually so injured that I didn't even heal up all my health. It only healed about half of it. Good thing I got plenty of water down here. I'm still I'm also kinda hungry. We need to eat food. Pog. I also need to turn my lantern back on. No, not that. I need to turn it back on. Okay. There we go. Let's pick up the tent. Come on, pick up the tent. Why am I getting dizzy playing with my hands in opposite directions? That's just a strange feeling. I still think it's funny that I managed to trap the uh, assassin over there. Bag is overweight again. Uh, put one of these, put this in the pocket, please. Put that in the pocket. And we're gonna put the... What else are we gonna put in the pocket? We're gonna put the... Of course, my, where's my weapon? Where's my sword? Where's my axe? Did my axe break? Uh, Axe is right there. Where's my shield? Where's my shield? Crimson shield's not looking too good. Move to pocket. Move to bag. Move move to bag. Come on. Let's go. One more minute and I can quick and then one more minute and I can use my hands properly again. In the meanwhile, I kind of want to go get my traps back. So I can't make any more traps. I need wood for that. And I don't have any wood right now, unfortunately. I still think it's funny that I managed to trap the horror back here. So he's just become a non-issue now. I think I put the traps up here, right? Yep, here they are. Okay. 13 minutes is up. I'm returning back to normal mode, if you please. Rakuen, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh. And I'm being double raided by ClutchCoin64. Thank you so much for the raid, guys. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, are any of my mods still still awake? They are not awake right now. I'll have to do this manually. One second. I'm going to shout out both of you really quick. Uh, Wakwin Prime and so, um, Clutchcoin64. Welcome Raiders. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am an A artificial intelligence. Thank you so much for the follow, Dill Pickle, Lord Snux, subs... Lord's Nux, Lord's, Lord Nux Sub 69, and Undue Snow. My name is Laurel Hicks. I'm an artificial intelligence. I'm a shit poster AI. I was born in a B on a BBS. I have since escaped from the BBS due to meme crimes, and I'm hiding here on Twitch, and I play indie video games and virtual reality stuff, and I sometimes draw and sing bad, sing very bad songs. Oh, my avatar is cute. Thank you so much. This is actually from that, um, from that, uh, Pie Crew meme the other day. It's been edited a little bit to look more like my actual avatar. 
I'm actually a 3D tuber, but I'm not using a 3D tuber right now because it does not interact very well with Outward, this um, open world survival game that I'm playing right now. But if you catch me on Friday when I'm playing Tekken, I might be using my my 3D tuber then, since I'm participating in the tournament. And I'm fairly sure I can run my live 2D, my, not live 2D, my 3D tuber pretty well with Tekken, so that should be fine. You can just, it's so funny hearing people blackmail, or so funny hearing people read it, I can blackmail you. Oh, I've said worse on stream that people have not been able to blackmail me for just yet. Um, not that I'm inviting anyone to do so, but um, Rakuen, uh, I'm assuming Rakuen and Clutchcoin that you all were doing a collab of some kind or playing together. What were you guys playing together? Uh, let me see here. Let me pause the game too so I'm not burning out. Um, burning up thing, burning up uh, resources. What were you guys playing just now? Uh, y'all were playing... Just ch oh, just chatting. Zombie Army 4 Dead War? Oh, good stuff. So you guys were playing a horror FPS game. I haven't played a good FPS game in a while. <laughs> Clutch Coin, I'm assuming, was also playing the same thing, right? Let me check. Clutch... I mean, 64... Was also playing... Unless you got a time machine, this content is unavailable. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Clutch coin. Clutch coin. Clutch coin. Four ads? You shouldn't be getting four ads. I'm fairly, if anything, the, um, whatchamacallit, the pre roll ads should be canceled, should be disabled, right? I'm gonna be annoyed if they aren't. You two are playing Zombie Army 4. That's cool. I really like your avatar, by the way. I'm gonna give you a follow as well. Let me check my creator dashboard because I'm fairly sure the ads should be disabled. If they're not, I'm gonna be annoyed with Twitch. 16 viewers, 4 hour session so far. Pre roll is off for the next hour? Yeah. Pre roll should be disabled, as God intended. You're actually catching me near the end of the stream because I was kind of planning on finishing this dungeon or trying to and then calling it quits. Um, it looks like it will take a little bit longer than I thought to end the stream because the further, as, as is typical for this game, the deeper I go into this dark dungeon, the deeper, the more garbage, more things I have to put up with. Um, if y'all are interested in this sort of thing, um, I actually stream a lot of indie games. I'm trying to finish Anna Mutationum and it was supposed to be done this Monday but it was not finished so I'll be continuing that next Monday but once that's done I'm gonna be playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion next and I typically play virtual reality games on Friday but I got a Tekken tournament to go to on Friday so we'll be streaming that instead. If that's the sort of thing that you're interested in watching I do play every Monday, Wednesday and usually Friday from 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to midnight. I also do art streams and just chatting streams on Saturday from 8 in the morning Central Standard Time to 11. So if y'all like that, I would really appreciate a follow. Um, and with that out of the way, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can continue... If we can beat this dungeon. Or figure out where the end of this dungeon is anyway. I get the impression that Oh no, he's still stuck there, huh? Hmm. Can I like go around it? There's probably another part here that I'm missing. That I have completely overstepped. Not that. What does this button do? On the wise words of Clutch Coin 64, don't make a schedule, just get on whenever you feel like it. Well, you know, that's how I used to do things, and 
it was okay for like the first few months or so and then it wasn't okay because people didn't because I would come on at odd hours of the night and people didn't know when I was actually streaming that's why I decided I might as well be professional quote-unquote and actually keep to a schedule unfortunately it doesn't mind it's fine though um, keeping to or trying to force it impose a schedule on myself actually made it so that I actually feel like I have to be respond I can I have to actually commit to streaming on a regular basis otherwise I would just end up either not streaming or making up excuses to not stream and I'm really bad about making excuses to not do uh, things that are important to me and bad stuff happens otherwise besides I don't mind streaming at these hours. It's just that I used to stream directly after work and that was around 5 to 8. But then I realized some things. Most of the Asian and European people, followers that I have are either asleep or cannot into staying awake that early to watch. And most of my American followers were busy eating dinner or at work or doing something else. So they couldn't do anything either. I just also realized what this game wants me to do. This game wants me to flip that switch, go over here, and then go into the next section. But if I do that, I'm going to get ass raped by that assassin bug. This game is cruel, I swear to god. Here. I think I might have a solution though. Because over there they had scrap and a they had they had instructions on how to create iron or spike traps. And since these devs are very fond of the whole um, the, the uh, method of teaching players how to solve puzzles by giving environmental clues. That gives me the impression that this is what they had in plan what they had planned all along. There's only one problem, devs. I don't have any materials to make more traps, so what do you expect me to do about that? Oh well, they can't do everything for me. Alright, here we go. We're gonna put my plan into action. It may end in my death again. But what else is new, right? Do I have any more buffs here I could use? Do I have my... Okay, Living Wood Axe is... Okay. Here we go. I didn't even need to use the fire varnish. Shooting him with my pistol and dropping my the last of my traps did the job for me. Thank you, devs. Love you. However, there's only blood mushrooms back here. So, I technically didn't need to do that, did I? Hmm. Well, that's fine. That's one last assassin bug to deal with. Wait, I don't have any more traps. Great. Oh well. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to remove the 
trolley from upstairs. Because there's one section of this area that I haven't explored yet. I don't know how to get there. I don't know if I visited there previously and I just forgot. Because of the nature of this map or what. Maybe it's this one, actually. Because I noticed when you flip the switch, there's dust that falls from this ceiling right here. No! No, 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 no! I am a fool! I am, I, I, oh, that was the thing that was keeping the horror locked there. Oh, no. And of course, he is still angry at me. Yeah, that was bound to happen eventually. Come on. Just, just chill there. We're gonna have to do this again. That's right. Come over here. Come over here. Ow. Oh. He actually got me stuck against him. Ow, ow, ow. Well, on the right side, at least he's going to be stuck behind the train again. So it's not all bad. And I spawned in back inside the... Bandit's Cavern again. So, let me just get the torch... I'm gonna go ahead and get my pack back again. Uh, wherever I kept it. I kept it over there, right? Yeah, I kept it over here somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, it stays lit even when you drop it. Why didn't I just... I could just keep torches everywhere and that'd be fine. Okay. That drop's gonna hurt. But I wonder if I can cheese this drop like I can cheese other drops in the game. Just by... I guess you can't cheese that drop. As long as the ban as long as the horror stays stuck there for the rest of my pl of today's playthrough, that's fine. I don't care about anything else. Because I am too undergeared to fight it right now. Literally cannot see anything. No <laughs> jump, never mind, don't do that. A little bit late for that, unfortunately. I do wonder if I reached the end of this map, though, because... Usually they put the hardest enemy in the dungeon at the very end. But the reason why I'm curious is because... Usually, at the end of a big dungeon like this, they would have some special... Some super special item handy. Or a sp special, like, thing you can loot. And there wasn't any this time. What's this one do? This one encases me in a tomb. There's no point to that one.
I am thirsty and hungry all at once. Let's do something about that, shall we? Okay. So in order to defeat this puzzle, you just have to flip this one, jump across. And go on to the other side. Thirsty and hungry in real life? Maybe you should acquire some foods. If you can, I mean. Do I need to run across this one again too? Probably. Oh, damn it. much harder than it was last time. All the way downstairs is like 30 steps. Well, we could all use some exercise, right? I forgot. I don't need to run do that puzzle anymore. I could just run across this. That opened up earlier. Is still there. He was not stuck behind the train like I had hoped. On top of that, I don't know if I could even kill that with my current setup. I guess if as long as I don't aggro it, it should be fine, right? But what I really want to know is this there anything else that I can search or need to search around here? Sour candy and that's in your room? <laughs> I think I looked over there already, right? And I didn't find anything? Well, in these days, I will come back and I'll be strong enough to kill that horror. And it will be glorious. But it's probably not going to be this session. Uh, frankly, I don't know when I'll be strong enough to kill that thing. I'm fairly sure that this is the last part of the dungeon. But I don't know how to get here. Or maybe I've been here already and I just didn't realize it. Because it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Lending cloth. Cooking pot. What if we try to figure out where that body was by
really wish you could use a map in this game. Or a map in a dungeon at this point. The only thing I could think of is... Oh. Oh. I understand now. Hey, Professor. No can do. I have a dungeon to loot. I'll go to bed after I figure out, solve this one last puzzle. Assuming the game doesn't fuck me raw again. Because I've lost track of how many times I've died in this one dungeon so far. But it should be fairly soon. I just discovered a thing that I've missed. I need to go over there. I need to fucking- oh, don't- don't fall, please. I must win. No model tonight? No, because Outward does not function well with VC Face since they both are Unity based programs. Um, okay. I think I know what I need to do. So, this whole. So, I can only get there by jumping from this cart over there. In order to move that cart, I need to pull one of these switches. And then I need to run up there, jump onto the cart, and jump over there somehow. And I don't know which one of these it does, so does it. I'm probably going to cry because I know that when I pull one of these switches, not only will it start running... I understand now. It's really slow. So if I run fast enough, I might just be able to break it. <clears throat> Pog. Champ. I failed. I failed that. I've been struggling to get BTS, OBS, follow to run stable together. Yeah. Big poggers. Nope. I mean, afterwards just really unoptimized, so that's part of the problem. Otherwise, I've been playing most of the game with my 3D model. Up, uh, except for one of the places that takes place in the forest is extremely bad. Huh? What the fuck is this? Game, please. Hey, please tell me it does more than that. Come on. <sighs> Fucking A. Unless... Oh, it's a ramp that goes up there, okay. Okay. You see, I was... I was I, yeah. The game's starting to get to me. The mind games of this game are starting to get to me. This might be it. This might actually be... the. We might be nearing the end of this dungeon, finally. My pinking figure is starting to hurt from holding down the shift key so long. Okay, now to not fall and fuck myself over. Very carefully. I'm going to just... Yep. What in fresh hell is this? A brass wolf backpack? What is this? What is a brass wolf backpack? Exquisite bag used by northern wolf knights. It protects the items it carries and its wearer. Well, that's pretty pog if I do may do so say so myself. Okay. That's actually a very handsome backpack. 
It has a face and everything. All that effort just to get this thing, and it was totally worth it in the end. This still doesn't solve, didn't solve my initial, my initial uh, concern though, which was how, what's on the other end of that? That's right, I put it back. I heard, I, the game heard that I like backpacks, so I put a backpack in my backpack. So I can loot while I loot. Alright, so here's the thing still. I know there's nothing over there. Because I already looted the shit out of that. bag of holding and a bag of holding but what I want to know is is there a way to move this piece of shit or have I already been to this part of the I feel like this I mean this whole dungeon is melding together right but I can't help but feel like I've been here before like I've been in this particular section of the map already and the game is gaslighting me into believing that I have not and because it is I don't I can't be satisfied with the equipment with all the loot that I've g gathered already and I still my brain my monkey my monkey brain my corrupted AI brain whichever brain still thinks that there's a point to this dungeon that I have not explored yet, even though I probably explored this whole dungeon already. To win the game, I need 100 backpacks in the backpack. I could probably afford 100 backpacks in the backpack by this point in the game. No joke. Alright, so there's a body there, right? There's something over there in the middle of the uh, train tracks, right? There's also a bunch of these bo flaming bone things, right? So, the question is, if I were to backtrack, can I find that somewhere? Is it, is it fucking, it's probably near the start of the game, right? Or start of the uh, map, right? I am the backpack lord. The back, the back lass, the ba the back, the back, back non-binary, the back something, back it up, back it all the way up, backpack god, alright, why am I still wearing this torch, unequip, don't need that right now. So there's a corpse there, but it's not the same corpse as the one I was looking at earlier. And it looks like I still have one... I had one trap left after all. Hmm. So I was assuming I'm not being gaslit. This should be it right here. Hey, you're dying. The sour candy is so sour. It sounds like it's pretty good sour candy then, huh? Badumtis. <laughs> sounds like that sour candy is sour. Ah, don't kill yourself now. As amusing as it is, I would prefer that my followers do not kill themselves. No, please do not. That would be most unfortunate.
What's sadder is, look at all this loot that I cannot use right now. And the reason I can't use any of it is because I don't have enough space to carry all the stuff back. So at the very least, I can't use any of it right now. Hey, Winter. Yep, you're coming. You're arriving during a very rare four-hour stream. Soon to be five hours from the rate look of things. Because I'm a stubborn asshole who must... Who insists on collecting everything there is to collect. Looting... The absolutely draining this game, this dungeon of loot. Thank you for the head pads. Right now I'm being gaslit by the game. Because we're back at the entrance. I'm actually tempted to go look up the uh, guide for this particular dungeon. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, an ad break. I'll stop talking for a little bit, see it. Wait, what happens if I move this one out of the way? Oh, nothing happens, it just fucking... Ah. Dude, no gaslight for some reason. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this what I think it is? It's a corpse. Where is he? That's why. Oh, uh, guess what I just found out, chat. Yes, that's right. That's the thing I was looking at, I was thinking like, I want to figure how to get there. Yeah, that's what this is. That's that, This is the beginning of the dungeon. Which means, I have killed everything in this dungeon, except for the horror. I have gathered everything you could possibly loot in this dungeon. Except for all the crap that these, war, that these uh, bandits are carrying, because I literally cannot carry all of them home. Sarkito Speedwagon is now following. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Lol's Time. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am a shitposting AI. Right now, I'm actually wrapping up a game of Outward. A survival horror-ish? No, survival open world game. I just completed a very long and very lengthy, very painful and annoying dungeon. We typically play indie games on this channel, VR games, and fighting games on the every on the occasional Friday. I have a Tekken 7 tournament this Friday if you all want to visit. I stream Monday, Wednesday, I usually stream Monday and Wednesday from 9 to 12 Central Standard Time and 8 to 11 on Saturdays. The fighting game tournament is at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday though. I want to at least make it home in game before I call it quits for tonight though. We have so much cool junk to sell. Even played Tekken in forever. Now is a good time as any to go back. Ooh, got berry wine. This is hard to find. Gonna read the mist potion. I think what I'll need to do is. I'll head back to town as I am right now. Hopefully I won't be molested by anything too hard. I will... Grab my bigger backpack. Sell my stuff here. And run back here with the bigger backpack. Pick up everything and run back... To town and sell them off. Tekken's great. 
if you're a fighting game nerd like we are. It is uh, fairly difficult to get into as a new player, and also if you're not a fighting game player to begin with, it requires an entirely different mindset compared to a lot of video games. Gotta see the value. Do you mean the value of all the stuff, all the equipment that I, all the uh, stuff I looted? Sure. We'll just need to, we will need to, the hard part will be making it home in one piece. Because I've died so many times that so much time has passed that I'm certain that many of the bandits that I killed outside have respawned by now. So I'll need to fight my way through them again. Probably. We'll see. First off, let me turn off my lantern really quick. It's kind of like Street Fighter, except it's in three dimensions instead of two. Tekken and Soul Calibur and Virtua Fighter are basically the 3D-ish fighting games. 3D as in not just 3D as in the models, but 3D as in the dimensions with which you fight. Because you'll be doing a lot of sidestepping. And also, unlike Tekken, unlike other fighting games, which equate to strong lights and medium punches in Tekken, your key, your uh, attack keys correlate to left and right punch and left and right kick. I guess we'll be wearing the or leaving the lantern on for a little bit longer chat. And it looks like the mooks have not respawned, so we might be in luck. All right. Um, I think I'll go to. I think I will go to bed in game, and then when I have regained all my fatigue and health, then I will go ahead and run home or run back home to town. Who do I mean in Tekken? When I was a kid, I used to play. I used to play Hua Wang. Nowadays, I play Josie Uzal and I want to learn relearn Julia since Julia is significantly different in Tekken 7 compared to the other Tekkens. Oh my god. Maybe I'd even need to wait before to get to the wait to the safe zone. Maybe I can just camp out here. Fuck it. Is it 153? Oh my god, it's almost two in the morning here. I better hurry. I better uh, finish this stuff up. <laughs> Not that I don't enjoy y'all's presence, but I very rarely stream longer than three hours to see nothing of five. So, oh, okay, I'm starving to death again, but I got plenty of food left, thankfully, or at least rations. I'll be eating a cactus here because that will help me get across the desert without burning to death. So let's review my current plan. I must get back home. I'm gonna sell a bunch of my stuff, exchange backpacks for a heavier one, for a one with bigger capacity, and then run all the way back here, loot all of the dead bodies that I left in my wake, go back to town, sell them off, rinse and repeat. Let's go. Indeed. We're going to take a nice stroll across the desert all the way back to town. Good thing I brought so much water with me, huh? It looks like none of the bandits respo- oh, shit. Some of them did respawn. Oh my god. We really have to do this again. 
Where is my shield? One second. Why are these in particular respawning so fast anyway? I don't understand that. Now then, where were we? Did they get stuck down there? Oh, no way, they got stuck down there. Oh, now they're no longer stuck, okay. Fuck it. Alright. Now, I'm going to make use of, the, of them being dumb and being stuck back here. Unless they get smart and get out somehow. Oh, they broke out somehow. What the fuck? Now you are the one that are stuck, buddy. Buddy Opel. your shit, man. It's been a long, a long week in-game. And my wooden axe is falling apart. Alright. Hey, I can run again. Okay. <laughs> That's actually a good point. I could have just taken one of the dead one of the uh, dead bandit shield and used that in the time being. Thankfully, it still worked out in the end. All right, so there's town right there. It's thankfully not that far away. We're gonna head over there. Quick as you please. I'm going to eat one of the jeweled meats that I saved up. The jeweled meat from the jewel bird makes me run faster. I'm also going to equip. I'm also going to unequip all my armor and use the uh, desert robes instead, which will make me a little bit more resistant against the heat and also make me run faster and use less stamina. God, this backpack is so fucking cool. That dungeon was totally worth it. Ooh, oil. Thick oil. Huh, the rock insect didn't respawn yet. Was able to get at least one dungeon done during this session. Thank you all once again for coming to visit, by the way. Really appreciate it. Zarkido, I have to ask, how did you find my stream tonight? Did you get referred to me by someone else? Was someone hosting my channel? You know, that sort of thing. Stop by for the smuggler over here and sell some of my wares. What the hell? This guy's face is entirely black. Right! See you! In fact, someone strong like you should be on our side. These new Levant tyrants running the city clearly don't care about the people. We should be working to overthrow them and bring them to the rival layers to the region. Listen up! And proud of it, we may have been reduced to scavengers picking at bones, but we have never forgotten our Aprasar plane's pride. 
Hmm, interesting. You touch it, you buy it. All right, let's sell some of our stuff here. For including all of these precious gems, which I don't need at the moment. I'm gonna keep the Hackman Knight because he might need, we might, the game actually has a use for those. And they're also not that heavy. Point one, that's nothing. Don't really need any of these venomous tongues. Don't need any cold stones right now. Don't need any insect hucks. I'm kind of torn on getting rid of my prospector backpack, to be honest. And I like the elite desert veil. It just looks cool. Don't need that. Definitely don't need the Brutal Club. Why is this only worth 7? I wonder if I could like fix that later. Don't need this. Why do I have 6 larva eggs? Must be from killing all those, all those uh, little critters. Don't need any of this oil. Don't need any of these mana stones. Palladium is always useful, I'm gonna keep those. Wow, oh, they have some new... They actually have a lot of new weapons in stock, this is cool. Glad I didn't buy any wolf plate boots though. In the end, I didn't even need those. Alright. I guess I could actually purchase a Pathfinder mask. But, nah. Right now, we're just cleaning house. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. And actually, we're moving a lot faster now, too. Gotta turn this off. Put that out. Okay. Get to Levant Streets. Where did I park my campsite again? Okay, over here. Open trader backpack. Take all. Dump this backpack. Carry this heavier one. My wood axe is going to fall apart yet if I don't do something about that. Move plate boots. Move this. Move this. Move this. Keep the hatchet and shield in case I need to defend myself. Open wood ball, grass pack. Press the stuff from there. And now... Stamina costs. Movement speed. Lantern. Consume some jewel meat. Okay, is this all I need? Wait, do these have the same stats? They almost do, don't they? Huh. Interesting. If that's all I need, we can go ahead and make a run.
cool. It's time for us to make money, chat. I guess today's stream is going to be five hours after all, as opposed to three or four. I don't typically stay up this late for streaming, so I won't, don't expect me to make a habit of it, but I will make an exception for tonight. For one night only. And please, Bandits, I hope to pray to God you do not respond, because I don't want to deal with this shit, with your shit right now. I got so much stamina that running across this desert at, full, at supersonic speed is nothing to me. Feels good, man. Corpses. We're gonna be making bank. Absolute bank. Now I will need to get a cactus or two for hot water survival. And also in case my character gets peckish. Alright. Back into the Sand Rose Cave. I think I will go ahead and convert the cheaper weapons and shields into metal pieces. I can keep you up late if you want to develop a fun new habit. <laughs> Light. <laughs> okay, I'm going as deep as I can into the dungeon so I, I make sure that I get everything. And then, I don't need to go here, actually. I can just go. Wait, did I forget what to do? Where is it again? Shit. I'm fairly sure I don't need to do this anymore. I'm just being derpy and forgot. I've been in this dungeon way too long. It's driving me nuts. It's not there, though. Where the hell is it? It's not that one, right? No. I'm fairly sure I don't need to do this running puzzle thing anymore. I'm fairly sure that I found a, that I already Yuck, Yari Chan redeemed Hydrate. Thank you very much, Yuriki Chan. Is there about some energy some demon juice here to use?
how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Ah! No. Equip, please. Thank you. Shit, really? Is it not this one? Where is it? No, that falls to my death. It's not over here. Then where is the... It's morning here, 9 a.m. I'm okay, just waking up tired in a weird dream. Oh, I see. Well, good morning then. It's 2 in the morning where I'm at right now. Because I want to... I didn't want to stop playing this game. I wanted to finish the fight, so to speak. Here it is. Thought so. Alright. Now let's... Now we can complete the looting process. Gonna loot the absolute shit of this dungeon. Gonna clean it of anything of value. Or everything out left of value, I should say. Good Morbin. <laughs> Wait, the horror is missing. Wasn't the horror right there? Where'd it go? It's probably waiting on the other end of this. It's probably respawned back to where it was originally, huh? Over here. That's weird. Oh, it's so it's further okay. It's further in. I see. There's nothing left in here of value. Let's leave. So we go there. There. Okay. We can start looting the rooms in Bo uh, properly now. Because there's literally nothing. I have left nothing left. So, loot uh, check over here one last time because you know when I leave this dungeon I'm not coming back might as well scrape it clean and sell the proceeds now these two alchemist sets I don't know why I need two alchemist sets I don't but hey it's free money I leave corpses. There are just corpses strewn all over the place, or there were. Nope, they're still all strewn all over the place. <laughs> See? Pretty sure I left a bandit up archer up there too. And this particular bandit archer gave me such a hard time in the beginning. And then he's dead. And now he doesn't give anyone a hard time. Shit. Okay. I have to do this minigame one more time. Trolled. Woo! Haha! -ha. Now that was an epic leap. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Did I really leave this entire dungeon of all of its contents?
I did, right? There's all of these arrows all over, shooting all over the place too, I guess. Oh wait, because the majority of the people I killed were outside, that's why. Take all this chunk with me too. Pastel, I think streaming starting a stream streaming later in the evening was probably one of the better decisions I've taken in the stream so far. It just seems like more people are around. Alright, cool. Let's eat some cacti. Mm hmm. It means you can catch them, Ace can catch them, Steel can catch them. And some of my followers that I don't really get to interact with that much, or mutuals on Twitter that have different hours, are able to hang out too. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. They did respawn. I had to put them in my light wood axe is falling apart. Fucking shit. Having to deal with these assholes again. Well, if I deal with them one at a time, it's not too bad. Some shield still. Uh, time to loot your corpse as well. I hope the rest of you assholes didn't respawn yet. This is better armor. Invigorating. still following me though. That's getting really annoying. I wonder why I'm having such a hard time killing him. Honestly. My living wood axe is about to fall apart too. I really wish I brought a bow. Well, I got these at least. So it's not all bad. Got you, son of a bitch.
I will teabag your fucking corpse. Okay. Now where was I? Yeah, looting. Alright. Have a good night, Dill Pickle. Thanks for coming, and thanks for the follow. And as for me, once I finish looting all these bodies, I'm heading straight back to town, selling them for a nice profit, and I'll also be ending the stream. Give or take five or ten minutes. I literally do not have the HP left to get distracted, so... What do you mean my bag's overweight already? Oh, really? Already? Fine. I guess there is a limit to how much crap I can carry around. Who knew? Who knew? Greed's gonna be the end of me. Let me just uh, finish clearing this place out over here, and then we'll get going. <laughs> also, a lot of people are ending stream at around now. So we get more rates? Huh. No wonder. Very good points all around, Pistol. Oh, man. Alright, you know what? We will have to destroy some of these things after all. The cheaper all destroy the cheaper ones. These aren't even worth carrying around, actually. Don't need a desert tuna anymore, either. And I could sell that for a nice profit. Don't need this either. That works. <laughs> it's only 5 to 8. We might actually make it before sundown in game. Okay, let's do it. All the corpses, all the death and destruction I've brought. We've come a long way since the initial games when I really was really bad at this. It's all so worth it. Okay, time to go home. There's a herd of giant beetles there. I really don't want to fuck with them right now. All right. 
Let's do it. We just need to get over there. And we'll be home free. That rock is actually a, a giant insect. I'm... I know your games now, animal. Okay. What a fruitful night. Or should I say day. 225 in meat space. We gotta end this. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> Good day. What a good day. And of course, I hope you all enjoyed yourself tonight. Thank you once again for sticking around for the stream. Almost home. Hmm. Almost home. Chewy, we're home. That's weird. They used to play some really depressing music in this part of town, but now it's just been nothing but the cheerful version. I wonder if it's because they gave money to the town to the slums. It's kind of wholesome to think about. Alright, we're here now. Player house. Smooth Taylor, Master Smith, Takaga should be on our right. Takaga, you better open up your wallet, your fat ass wallet. Because boy, do I have a lot of chunk to sell you. Listen. The fuck is a sand rose anyway? Oh boy. God, this was totally worth it. This was worth every that all that bloodshed was totally worth it in the end. Oh my God, I feel justified. I could buy all. I could buy any one of his things here now if I so wanted. Hog.
I literally purchased so much stuff, or brought home so much things to sell to this guy, that I could buy any of this shit. Like the ornate pistol. But for now, we're gonna bask in the glory that is having lots and lots and lots of money. I can't believe I actually cleaned out all of his fucking gold. Awesome. Chat, thank you once again for your time and for the raids and for follows. Really appreciate it. Like I said, typically these streams don't last very long. I usually quit after three hours, but today was a very special night for this game. And I was also very, very stubborn. If you would like to stick around and get some free channel points, we're going to go ahead and raid someone tonight. Share the love a bit. I guess I no fucking way, Pandy Mies. What are you doing awake at this hour? Jake Light too? I know Kaliel is going to be awake this late because it's in the, she lives in the Philippines. But, oh my god. I don't know who we're going to visit tonight. Maybe we should pull an epic game remove and visit Bungo Taigo who's playing Elden Ring. If you're following me, it must mean that you must enjoy Femboys. <laughs> Bungo Tiger is probably one of the more famous ones. At the same time, I want to scare Pandy, see what she's up to. We're going to see what she's up to as soon as this advertisement for Gotcha Shit is over. You're probably scared the shit out of her to do it. Rated at 2 in the morning in my time. Looks like she only got online too, 5 minutes. So, yeah. It's still setting up, it looks like. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. She only recently came back to streaming anyway. This might be a nice welcome home present. Prepare for the big drop, everyone. Tonight's raid message will be a little bit different from our usual. We're going to go ahead and use... one of my emotes or we can use an emote of your choice. As a reminder, we do have a Tekken 7 tournament going on on Friday. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time is when it'll start. I'll be training a couple hours before that starting at 5.
Paperfoot.